this for a child who isn't even here? What the hell do you... Uh! You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house! You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters! And now you even try to steal my property! <laughs> so you finally came to see me. Everyone falls for me in time. <laughs> Poor little Mm, bad boy! You can't go anywhere. Oh, I want to eat the cute ones right up. Hey, kiss me. Ooh, welcome everybody. I hope you're all doing very, very well. As always, it's your boy Dan here today with another Resident Evil live chat. And today I'm really excited for this one, Nicole Tompkins. We've never met before, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think she's awesome at everything she does and a lot of you guys are big fans as well so we're gonna hang out geek out have a few laughs it's gonna be a lot of fun who have we got in here christian canna matt laura jake nickel jal filler fernando daniel spicy ivan acid kim frozen gero cookie and gaming jack usman josh Leonardo, Paige, Josh, Nick, Delilah, Ashley, Max, Zeus, Ray, Cyrus, Shannon. We're all flooding in. Great to see you guys. I hope you're enjoying the content. Who else have we got this week? We've got Moreau. Possibly got the Hag. We've got Donna. And we've got the face of Lady D, Helena. Lots of great content, guys. Plus plenty of other videos. But Nicole's been waiting. I don't want to let her wait any longer. That'd just be rude, wouldn't it? That would just be rude. So why don't we get straight into it, guys? I hope you enjoy. Leave your questions. I will get to as many as I can, as many as possible. And uh, I really appreciate it. You can become a member of the channel, just like Paige, T.O., X Garber, Jade, a couple of legends in here, Nash, Josh. All right, guys, let's get into it. It's going to be fun. Not so casually. Just took a huge bite of a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> so I'm going to start my video, and I just want no judgment because look. Hey, you know we're live, don't you? We are not. Yeah, we are. We are live. Amazing. We are live. Hello, everyone. This, Welcome. Yeah, this is this is what happens. I always put throw my guests under the bus. And Good. <laughs> you got to get them. You got to get them propped up and ready. Well, I got to get you expected. Hi, everyone. Um. Hey, how's that? Wait, oh, it's an ad. It's amazing. Wait, where's chat? There it is. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, well, it was a really good PB and J sandwich, and I had exactly one bite of it. So, oh, now you can you know. finish it. It's all right. You can finish okay. it. We don't mind. <laughs> Dan, what's up? You're here. You're finally here. <laughs> Dan, oh, wait. what's up? Sorry, I was muting myself. There we go. Um, it's about time, man. It's Where about you time. Where you been? Hey, I just want to tell you that I think you're awesome. All right, Nicole? <laughs> Everything you do. I think you're a freaking legend. So let's just get that up straight off the bat, all right? <laughs> I will take it. Thank you. Now, um, feel free to reciprocate. I am feeling like a total badass, so that's how we like to start. Uh, how have you been? You been good? Oh my gosh, so good. Man, freaking with Village out, it's it's been a little bit nonstop, but in the best way possible. 
Um, it's so lovely to see how hyped and excited everyone is and just getting to be a small part of that in any regard is, is a true pleasure. So I'm good. Um, please appreciate, I just, I have to point this out because everyone I talk to is like, what is happening? It's just mystery. I just like my cauldron in the back. I'm brewing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a, d a diffuser, a humidifier. My will. girlfriend loves a good diffuser. So don't yeah, worry. Yeah. I know all about them. Like diffusing anything. It's just humidifying the air, but I call it a diffuser because I have a little one. I love your setup though. I've got to say one of the better setups I've seen. Oh, thank you. It's new. For those that uh, have been watching me on Twitch at all, they all know the long story behind my brand new setup. And it actually looks, you know, half decent for something that just got put together. Oh, so this is just thrown together. Surely there's a bit of uh, creative juices flowing here. I, I mean, always, uh, you know, Jill gets a gets a little spot. We've oh, gotta... she had to. I mean, you got to do it. And this one's super cool because... Um, Brad Duct Tape Hale, an amazing uh, fan in the Resident Evil community, an artist, straight up like dirtied her up, added a shotgun, just like made her very custom and sweet. So she gets a spot on the shelf. I love it. And then you got the little lava lamp, which they've, you don't see as many of those these days, do you? I'm bringing them back. <laughs> They're cool. They've never not been cool. Don't at me. Look. <laughs> you want one i mean you want one just seeing it i know it i could see one right there on that that shelf we could just just scooch one of those guys over a little bit pop a lava lamp right in there and it'll have like a nice you know l lit cast yeah what i'm thinking is we're removing this guy here and we're getting a jewel with a lava lamp just as a homage to you how does that sound yeah. completely agree yes <laughs> i mean what else this is the best version of your shelf that I could possibly imagine. Now, do you have a name for that plant behind you? Because I had Maggie on, you would have known, a couple of days ago, and she named my plant, plant over here. Oh, what's what's this one's name? Oh, Maggie's stealing my plant naming thing. It's fine. I'm going to share it because she's mom. Um, but we've been playing through Village, and we've been naming every plant we come across in the castle so far. It's great. Um, so funny enough, I was just talking to my um so some people on, on on my discord community and i was like guys i'm known for like naming every plant i come across and i'm gonna be honest i call this my fern it's my maidenhair fern she is a maidenhair fern which is kind of a nice you know has a nice ring to it but i just call her my fern <laughs> so she needs a name and i'm open to it if someone else dan out of like out of just appreciation you want to throw out a name possibly oh really you're gonna put that pressure on me I'm gonna throw it out there. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta give you what it feels like. You know, you gotta, you gotta take a walk in our shoes. All right, us, us, witch vampire ladies. We, we have a hard job. So. So my plant Sophocles. It's beautiful. So what about Fernicles? Fun. <laughs> you stole that from Maggie, and you twisted it in your own thing. No, I stole it from Z Tune in the chat, to be honest. Oh, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, far out no it's it is really good to talk to you nicole i'm a big fan and i know you, you're kicking ass because like youtube twitch all this stuff i don't people don't realize it takes a lot of work um amongst you know juggling other things that you're doing with yeah. your life you know singing <laughs> acting performance coming I mean, just give us something you don't you're not good at just so we can feel a bit better about ourselves um, I've never been water skiing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be good at that. That's the only thing you can think of that you're not good at. Yeah. That's not, that's not from, I mean, um, you know, I, I'm about to start practicing cooking a lot more. I can cook. I just don't cook very often. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not good because I follow instructions really well. And so, like, if I got a good recipe and I can follow the dish, like, she's going to come out, she's going to be edible, and you're going to smile and nod and enjoy her because I'm proud that I made her. So so who's the cook of the house then? You know, it's, 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 a, it's a varying role. It just, you know, it just getting fed. It's a thing. You just, you just have to make it happen. And it does. <laughs> um, no, I just moved. So my kitchen's in absolute shambles, honestly. <laughs> Uh, you're you're based in LA, yeah? Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles. But you were born and raised Texas, am I right? I was. 
Yes, I was born and raised in Texas. Um, great place to be from. I had a great childhood. So when did you move over? Uh, about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. I just did this math and I was like, oh my gosh, in June, which is only a few days away, yeah. um, yeah. we are we are coming up on it. And it looks like that's 10 years. Yeah. In June. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's been a delight, truly. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, every day's a journey, you know, but like getting to pursue and, and do a career that you love and, and only dreamed of, there's nothing like it. So with all the ups and downs, like it's, it's, it's more than worth it. I also really like LA. It's, it's a beautiful place. There's mountains, there's beach, there's, there's a little bit of everything. You do some climbing, don't you? Ind indoor or outdoor? How did you know? Wow, I feel so seen. Um, I right before COVID started, uh, started right before lockdowns kind of came into effect. I j had just started to do some climbing at a climbing gym. I got my belay certification. A right climbing there. gym? We don't have them in Australia, I don't think. Really? It's like a like a bolt. They have indoor. It's like indoor rock walls, basically. It's oh a great yeah, place. we have that. Yeah, we have that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So it's a, it's like a, they call it a climbing gym okay. here. You have membership, like a gym membership, but you just walk in and it's like rap walls everywhere. Um, yeah, right. So I got belay certified and then uh, COVID hit and I was like, I am not ready to just go climb out on rocks in the wild without someone who knows what they're doing. Um, so it just kind of put a stopper on it, but I sure look forward to getting back to it because I like, I got the shoes. I was so ready. I got to go for a few weeks. I was having a blast. I was finally getting strong. And now I'm concerned at my finger, my finger strength. Um, but Stephanie Panicello, who plays Claire at Redfield in our Resident Evil series, she also climbs. And we've talked about, like, maybe we should go climb because we've never met each other in person still. Oh, really? Ridiculous. Yes. Have you met Nick? Who not, plays Leon? Not no, in not person. Either. Yeah, right them they've been virtual friends that I've, I've met through you know this this time and, and experience so the, so resident evil 3 came out during the pandemic last year yeah it did yeah wow March. that must be weird it was the strangest well because i haven't i haven't gotten to go to any actual cons like meet any people in person so i have made so many friends digitally and just like know so many amazing people in the community and a rather expanding community honestly and to say like I've only I've only met everyone on the internet, um, so it'll be a really <laughs> nice when those events start to open back up and I have a chance to like give some real hugs. I can't believe that you've never been to a con, you poor thing. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I've been to cons, but not no, like I, not after the role. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, not as Jill Valentine, which I think just changes the title a little bit of going to a con. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you nervous to go to them? Or? I'm so excited. I, yeah. I don't know what there is to be like nervous about. I think it would. It's just gonna be overwhelming and fun, and and I I'm just excited. I like I, I cannot wait for people to come up and be like, I'm Wizard Two Seven Zero in in Twitch, and I'm gonna be like, Wizard! Wow, <laughs> it's a real person. That's amazing. You exist. Um. So like I yeah I I can't wait. So do you think COVID made you make the Twitch channel? Were you doing it beforehand or how did that come about? Almost certainly. Almost certainly. Yeah. I, um, the game came out. I was like, oh, the game came out. I had a game come out. We're all in quarantine and I'm stuck at home. Hey, mom, my I had a game come out. That's it's cool. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea and celebrate. Um, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Why don't I? I'm gonna, I wanna play it. Like, I wanna see it. I wanna play it. Like, I get to play as myself. Come on. Like, you gotta, you gotta play it. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna play it, like, 
can't I just, I, I have some friends. I knew some people that had, had streamed. I was like, why don't I just stream it? Like, who cares? Maybe someone will show up and some, some, some people showed up. And so once that happened, I just kind of kept going because it was such a joy and such a great way to connect, especially in a time where I think we all just really needed chances to connect digitally. And, um, and then I started to bring on other actors and that's my favorite thing in the world is doing what you're doing now is just like highlighting people's work and getting to know them under a new context. Um, so yeah, it just, it sort of just spiraled from there and I'm still going cause, uh, it's, it's the community that keeps me going. It's like the people that continue to show up and are like, um, Nick, it's Monday. Uh, you haven't posted your stream schedule yet. What's up with that? Huh? And I'm like, well, look, I'm <laughs> doing an interview with Dan right now but like afterward i'll get there if you're in the chat um i get it i know i haven't posted it yet so you know it's just like people people keep you going and I, i'm an artist and an entertainer man i'm a storyteller so mm. when people want to hang out and tell stories together and and be excited and dig into games and narrative and silliness like i'm there i love it i love it how did you get to know sphere hunter She's a she's a great content creator, and I see her pop up in a lot of your streams, actually. Yeah, Su Susie. So Susie and I have j literally just developed. We've also never met in person. We've just developed our relationship through um, through once Resident Evil launched. She actually found me, like. A f I think before she got like an early copy of the game um, mm. and knew that I was Jill before that I could say anything. And so I remember like I was doing a test stream on Twitch. I was like, well, if I'm going to play it, like I, I, I before should the game was out. Yeah. Like, like literally maybe three days, like two days or something before the game was out. Um, and, and so I, I, you know, I, I played animal crossing because animal crossing was super in, in that moment. And, you know, I'd been mm. keeping up with my turnips and and riding out the stock market and um i i flipped animal crossing in there and like in pop Susie, and she's just like jill 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 valentine <laughs> i was like i don't know what you're talking about and look at my cute little animal crossing um <laughs> ridiculous. That's just and yeah. um, and then from there like um we, we did an interview sort of like this and yeah. Uh, chatted and it, we just enjoyed each other's company and i was like i'm gonna start having people on my streams like do you want to just be on discord too to like help me manage chat because i mean to this day it's still overwhelming but like when i first started i was like oh i gotta play and like pay attention to it chat is hard yeah answer questions and so uh, she came in there and like held my hand through the process and also just has like an extensive knowledge of Resident Evil. So she tells me things that I don't know. She doesn't know that much, does she? She's pretty, uh, she's got pretty average yeah. knowledge. Yeah. If you're listening, Susie, I'm not. Yeah. I don't think you need to brush up on your skills a little bit. Could you? Could you, Susie? Really? On that she will listen you. too. I know she listens in. So oh, Susie, you're a legend. We love you. Uh, so how um how was it like before resident evil 3 came out how was it like just not telling anyone that you're the main character and this is you know like you, you'd done shadow of mordor but it's not the same scale is it let's be honest yeah like it's not as it's not a yeah. main role because like when when shadow of war came out like i i wasn't a very big role i didn't know you know like i, I didn't mm. have any telling me like when you're allowed to announce or anything like that at that time and so i just kind of waited for other people to be like oh yeah this game came out and so then i was like oh yeah it is. um and shadow of war sorry yeah i said shadow mordor that's the that's the first one yeah yes um forgive me you're fine middle earth shadow of war um but yes i i mean it's <laughs> really the hardest time once you book the game so exciting you're working on it you're excited like you're on a project you have a secret thing you're not telling people but like the game's not announced either so no one really knows no one's the hardest time is when i'm hoping someday in the game industry this changes and i think it will continue to evolve as game companies decide to like use their actors more in marketing but like the moment from when the game announces and you start like that's my performance like that's my facial expression and my voice like that's me you know like in trailers and stuff like that 
up until waiting to the game the day the game releases now you've got people that are guessing you have fan art you have like all this crazy stuff that starts to happen as like the hype happens and you're just like mm. just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait and then as soon as the um game drops then you can announce and like enjoy all of it. So, I mean, like, what's it like? It's like a waiting process. You have to have like your little support group of people that know, <clears throat> don't know because you signed an NDA, but like your family or something that like knows that you have a project coming out that you can just message and be like, look at this cool fan art. Like, look at this really <laughs> thing. Like, people seem excited. So, uh, yeah, mm. it's, uh, it's definitely fun waiting. I, I don't know if Maggie mentioned this at all when she talked to you, but like when Lady D blew up, we were messaging back and forth. I was sending her like fan arts daily and like articles and we were both just sitting there like, oh my gosh, um, cause it was her first, you know, big, big role as well. Um, yeah, so we she were... said you, you were telling her, hey, Maggie, she's blowing up. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Oh man, it must've been crazy just, and especially when, you know, some people like, some people probably knew knew it was you. Did you get any messages saying, oh, I recognize that voice or not? Um, You know, a couple, but I oh. hadn't really done anything that sounded quite like Jill. Yeah. I think at the time, because she's got a little bit of like a, just a tougher, lower register. Mm -hmm. And um, so I feel like I had one or two, but mostly I think it was people that had been able to get the game early and then message me um because i wasn't you know super super well known in the game industry at yeah. that so did yeah. you be honest did you play games before resi and the streaming and, and all that so <clears throat> yeah i get this question a lot i mean there are people that have been like passionately committed to video games from a really early age i was always really fret like i had a lot of gamer friends like i i had a ton of friends that were gamers so i was really around it a lot and i played like on Nintendo, like I played Nintendo games and I had, you know, DSs and stuff like that. And then after I booked Shadow of War and like walked on a motion capture stage for the first time, it was like, holy cow, wait, this is how this happens? No way. And worked with people that just showed me like how committed and meaningful the story was to them, which as an actor is like what you're excited about. It's what you want, you know, it's a matter in so many ways um to show to see the artistry that went into it i was like this is amazing and so from there i remember this very fun conversation between troy baker and travis willingham two icons in their own right in the video game world um arguing about whether or not i should get a playstation or an xbox because i said i want to i'm going to start i'm going to get a console so i can start playing i ended up with the playstation um and i played through the uncharted series just on my own because i that was the vibe that i wanted to do um and I really enjoyed it. And then from there, obviously, like I just started playing more and a lot more recently because of streaming on Twitch and whatever else. What did you think of Uncharted? Just bear in mind, I'm a fan. Ah, there it is. Uh, I love, I mean, I, I loved it. It was super fun. I got Great to play it. It's my first uh, probably series where I've played all, all of the games all the way through. All four? Um, so, all five? Yeah. Oh, there's a DLC with Zoe, right? With, um, yeah, Chloe. No. Chloe. Chloe, yeah. Chloe, 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 Chloe. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, DLC with Chloe. I haven't played the DLC with Chloe. Um, yeah. well, you I You played the, four, I, the first four. Right, right, right. So I, I played the first four. I didn't play the... I guess, is it even a DLC? I guess it's its own game. It just seems like a DLC. It's, it was matter. probably going to be a DLC, but they just fleshed it out a bit for, for a Tangent. Yeah. Tangent. I should, I should, should I check it out, Dan? Uh, you'd like it. You'd like... I know you were playing through oh. Tomb Raider, weren't you, recently? Yep, I've been uh, playing through uh, Tomb Raider, although that series was un not unfortunate. It's amazing. I'm loving it. Um, but it got gifted to me, and they gifted uh, it was gifted to me by someone that like was like, you don't need to play them in order, and just like tossed me the third game, and I didn't realize it was the third game. So I like started streaming. I was like, well, I'm just I might as well just like play it. And people in chat were like, have you played the first two? And I was like, oh, there's. Oh, this isn't the, f okay. So I played the third one first and then I went back and played the first one and now I'm on the second one and the storyline, the pieces are just really coming together now. Oh my God, you've really stuffed yourself up. Uh, <laughs> Sean here says, I really love that lava lamp. It fits so well within the room. Thank you so uh, much. 
<laughs> All right, let's get let's get to some of these questions. Uh, Jason here says, "What do you think of Ethan Winters, Nicole?" What do I think of him? Mm. I really loved. I played RE Seven before Village came out, so that no one was like, "But you haven't played RE Seven because I didn't want to hear it." Um, and it was also really fun. So I played RE Seven, and I really love kind of watching Ethan's arc in village and i'm gonna tread gently on that because i haven't actually finished the whole game yet i'm currently in the middle of it i'm just in the castle with my do you know what happens i do know what happens because i helped make the game so i know like most of the major like spoiler plot points but i don't know exactly how they all fit into place because with a game like village it's huge i was in two very specific sections i was in the castle and i was in uh, you know, the, the village with Elena. Um, so I, you know, it was in two sections and then otherwise it's just like what I heard at the table read and, and what other friends were telling me. Um, cause it all happens kind of independently. So it's going to be new for me to watch, like, obviously like how it comes to life and where these storylines have been like slotted in. So are you, okay. Spoilers guys. Are you one of the first people to have two different characters die in the one game? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I haven't been asked that, and I haven't thought about that. But yeah, like with pride. Uh, That's how much they love you. They'll kill you off twice in the one game. Left and right. I know. I'm just. It's fun to watch me die. I get it. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure I'm not the first because there are way too many people no. that have played like Orc Number Three and also Soldier Man Seven, and like you have two characters and they both die. Hey, oh, just quickly. Now I'm going on a tangent, but with um, Shadow I mean, of that's War, what I live for, clearly. my fa- my favorite part of that game is the orcs and the the one liners. They're so funny. Have you played the game? Have you se- do you know how they do that? Or did so you see started, any live? I started playing it, um, and I honestly didn't get very far because I was really really bad at it when <laughs> I first started playing. I was like, wow, this is not a walk in the park, mm. um, and it's so massive and like open world overwhelming but yeah they basically just have like insanely talented people that go in for the most aggressively vocally tiring voiceover sessions you've ever seen Mm. i had the joy of like seeing part of one like after one of my own sessions um and i believe jb blanc directed a decent amount of the work stuff who's he's just a brilliant talented actor and mentor and someone i adore and appreciate massively and he's in a ton of games he's he's in all of them it's crazy and also like in barry the sh- tv show he's got such a fun career anyway um tangent but he like i think does a lot of the, the directing for some of that that work stuff and it looks both like a ball of fun and also just so exhausting because those guys are getting in there and just shredding there you know like vocal cords for hours on end troy baker did he direct that game he did he did the performance capture direction on shadow of war yeah i've had him on he's a he you can't shut that guy up seriously he's a legend no. i love him no no, no. Can't shut he's him a up. delight <laughs> he's, he's an absolute delight i mean uh, definitely a massive inspiration and i've told him that many times before um yeah. having having worked with him as my first gig like i just literally wow. had like just geniuses just like take me under their arm and are like You'll do great, kid. Troy Baker like, on your first you gig. Right. Yeah, my my first uh, <laughs> video game gig. He was my director. Do you want to hear the saddest, silliest story? We're really getting tangenty now, but I have all day. Um, Go good morning. It. Hi, Dan. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my show. I'm taking over. <laughs> all right, chat. Let's go. Um, yeah. Hey, prob- so when I when I fun. When I first walked into the uh, callback for Shadow of War, I, I put in like four lines in a British accent for a human on a fantasy game. And that was it. I knew nothing else. And then here I am just like, do, 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 do. oh, look, this is the Warner Brothers lot. That's cool. Um, and then I, I, I walked in there um, and I walk into this session and there's this tall, like, 
blonde guy and there's this other guy with long hair just like sitting there um and they introduced him as like one of the direct uh the uh the, the guy there one of the casting associates that sort of stuff and i was like great 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 and they're like all right great so we're gonna have you read um with this gentleman here and i was like oh fantastic and uh he fully like did the scene with me and i was like oh my god this reader is amazing. I have never had such a good reader in an audition before. Like, God, you guys should use him is what I was thinking. <laughs> um, like, get this guy a gig. Like he's wasted as a reader. Um, oh, that's funny. Sure enough, walked out and like, I was like, I gotta look that guy up, man. He was great. And I was like, oh, Troy Baker. Oh, he's got like 782 <laughs> credits. Oh, Troy Baker. Mm, Should have known. Um, so oh. I definitely, when I first met Troy, I was just like, hey, <laughs> like, I know I had the energy of like, you're really talented. And he had the same energy because he was there trying to cast me in a game. So we both were just like, you're really good as like just a, 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 a unspoken energetic connection. And I just felt so silly uh, knowing that I walked in. So you told him that like, story, obviously. What's that? You told him that story. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't think I have. <laughs> and I have told it before, like in interviews or just like on my Twitch channel. As but a not him. It's one of my most amusing stories. So like if by some chance Troy has just been like, I'm going to watch an entire Nicole interview. Maybe he's heard it. Um, but no, I'm sure one day I'll be like, yeah, that was a thing. Uh, and he would think it's hilarious. I'm, I'm sure. Wow. That's so funny. And that for was people that don't know who Thank Troy is, he's, Troy is in nearly every game you've ever played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, have you played the last of us before? So this was part of the debate on whether or not I should get an Xbox or a PlayStation was my ability to play last of us. And funny mm. enough, I've watched a lot of Last of Us because I also was like friends with Hannah Hayes back when we first moved to LA, both of us. And she plays his daughter in the very, very beginning of that game. Of course. Like, I kid yeah. you not, we knew each other from like a, an acting class when we first both got to LA. Wow. Um, and so like, I knew a lot about it. So I've seen a decent amount of this game, but I actually haven't played it all the way through. Part of me is almost like saving it that's in some way like i'm sure when it's time it's time because i will play it i'll probably end up streaming it but i'm i'm almost just like yeah i don't know it's it's got such a a legacy and obviously i played the entire uncharted series so i love naughty dog um and i i cannot wait to work with them at some point they just do such cool things um that'd be good yeah that'd, now you're talking uh yeah are you a crier in like watching movies or games like yeah absolutely okay. Okay. yeah so have the tissues ready then for sure no yeah. yeah it's it's a sad sad series but it's so beautifully done and it's so cinematic yeah yep. which i just love um yeah i it's, it's funny i used to not be a crier in movies and games and then when i started acting like really quickly early on almost as like as a child actor i was like oh like being able to cry for scenes and in scenes and like be really emotionally connected to material is super important and just really part of the process and so i started to be like i'm gonna be really intentional about like when something's sad just really feeling that and so then i started crying in like movies and tv and now people pay me to cry all the time it's ridiculous uh, now my job is to just cry i guess did so you, you see that whole cry. idol sequence with elena just crying on her car yeah there was real tears you can't see them did they animate them probably not did it help anything no but if you if you could see the close-up bts footage elena man ooh, let your daddy go there, oh. Oh, really oh 100 <laughs> percent. i'm totally. gonna go back now and have a look <laughs> i mean i don't uh, think you can see it in the game i'm i'm sure not it's the it's the wasted tears that, that <laughs> that never were so you can cry on command i'm not going to make you do it now but you can cry on command <laughs> yeah i can't wow I can't. <clears throat> oh please don't you're making me emotional your eyes are never. swelling up uh, i would never i that's... wouldn't do that to you ever <laughs> that's a... but that's a skill i don't know how you do that jesus <laughs> um <clears throat> time <laughs> caring uh, Act, acting queen they're saying in here love oh. your acting 
<clears throat> oh, I absolutely love it. Um, I also saw, so you're a PlayStation girl now, right? So you got a PS4. You don't have a okay. PS5? I would love one. <laughs> Um, I was in the same boat as everyone else. Um, I also at the same time was building a, a new PC. So it was kind of like, all right, either I'm trying to get the new NVIDIA graphics card or I'm trying to get the PlayStation 5, but we cannot try to do both at the same time. So I got the, I got an NVIDIA card, which was really exciting. Okay. So, so you're, you got a big PC build. So how well I, do you know your specs? You know what? <clears throat> Pretty decently. Actually, oh, here we go. Okay. Come on. This. Um, Jade Allen helped me do it. I have an AMD Ryzen processor. Um, oh, yeah. God, throw out the, the numbers and look like a, a doofus. I did, I managed to get um, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card. The new one, I did not get the 3080, which is what I was rooting for, but I did get the 3060, um, which was good enough to, <laughs> to start. So I've got the 3060. <laughs> Um, and that happened, uh, refreshing the best buy link at like six in the morning, uh, on a drop. <laughs> oh yeah. I was, it was hard for it happened. Um, and then otherwise, you know, lots of pretty, my motherboard's very pretty. It has lots of glowy lights and that's, what's important is just that everything glows and is led ish. I would show it to you, except I have like boxes that I'm hiding down here. So I'm not going to. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I've, if you want to see a photo, follow Nicole on IG. Yeah. That's where I found my photo. Or Twitter somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's there somewhere. I was just doing some stalking as per usual. Oh, totally fine, Dan. I might have been doing the same. Oh, it's an honor. It's an honor to be stalked by you. <laughs> um, <laughs> How sweet it is to be stalked by you. Every Resident Evil Village player in Castle. <laughs> hey, I know you're a singer. I did some digging on your YouTube channel. If you go to the older videos. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some <laughs> nice uh, music. I was actually going to play it as the opening track. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm so glad that you didn't. Instead, we started strong with a PB and J bite. <laughs> you, but you are a good singer, I have to be honest. I can't. Thank you. That's, that's very kind. When's I'm, the album I'm coming out? You know, no plans for an album, but I keep getting asked the question, so maybe I should uh, think about writing some music. I think you should. Tyanus, thank you for becoming a member, mate. Moonchop, Nathan is so lucky to be dragged. You mean Ethan, I'm pretty sure. Ethan. Not, a, not Nathan. That's a different we're, game. At this point, we're, yeah, we're mixing all of them up. Big mashup. I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Canna, Dan, we all know Nicole loves having a sandwich what about some legendary Vegemite sandwich? Oh, oh. okay. Have you ever had Vegemite? I actually don't think that I have. It's probably a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It, doesn't it come like canned or something? It's in a jar, but like... Oh, jar. Okay. We, we love it here in Australia, but every time a, an American tries it, they just think this is disgusting. What is its best comparison? What Marmite? You have you heard of Marmite? I've no? heard of it, but I also don't know what that tastes <laughs> it's a similar like. Similar thing. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know how to. I don't Spam? Know. No, 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 no. You put Different. it. You, you put it on toast with a bit of butter. Oh, as it's a like breakfast. like mayonnaise. Um, it's it's a spread. It's a spread. Welcome back to Nicole's show. We're going to take a tangent here to look up some Vegemite. Vegemite. Yeah, so Vegemite on toast is what you'd usually have, right? Images. That looks awful, but I'm so <laughs> game to try it. Um, it's black, Dan. It's Why black. is it black? It's black, which is very off-putting for a lot of people, yeah. It kind of yeah. looks like it could be like fish eggs, which could be, you know, tasty, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 mean, I personally don't well, like it, which I should Some people really say. like heavy spread it you know they go for like a really you don't spread. that's that's the key you do not go heavy spread it's too don't go heavy too stick powerful. light guys stick light on the vegemite <laughs> have it you ever been deeper. have you ever been to down under i've not i can't wait i can't wait to visit you um uh, no yeah i've never been to australia i but have, it's on your list it's definitely on the list how could it not be absolutely um, I've met some amazing Australian humans. I've mimicked oh, some you. Australian accents. Um, you know, it's great. So no, I've, I've never been, but obviously would love to go. So, what you got going on over there? Anything interesting? Everything. 
anything yeah. and everything. Come on, what oh. don't we have? Great people, great food, attractions. Oh, good. We're we're going good. We're going good. How's your how's your Aussie accent? I think I'd have to sort of work on it to like really get there, really get there again. That's I good. Gotta, like, I don't know. I gotta like spend some time with someone though. Oh, it's a little rough. It's rusty. I have to. I have to work on stuff. Like when I get voiceover auditions for a specific accent, like I spend an hour just solid, like getting into it because it's really important to sort of like just spend time yeah, there. Yeah, you're not bad. And sort of, like, working on it. So you you can hear it. It's not quite quite there because bit I, of refining. I, you will nail yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you're close. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, f- put me on the spot. I haven't had to do Australian in, in quite a while either. Um, no, why would you really? <laughs> it's not an you'd accent. Be surprised. Right? Really? You'd yeah. be surprised. Yeah, we'll get Australian um, pretty often. The other one we'll get is um, New Zealand, which I don't know if it's just me, but for Americans, like it's the worst. Trying to trying to not flip into Aussie when you're trying to do New Zealand and vice versa. I don't know why those two accents just love to like mess with each other <laughs> as an American. They just do, and they're so different, but they they love to just like butt heads and be like, "Oh, I'm showing up as an Aussie now." Stop it, New Zealand. Um, That's another place you got to go, New Zealand. It's absolutely oh, beautiful, absolutely I mean, incredible. What are the rings? Hi, I'm technically in your canon. Amazon, you've got a series. Call me. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, Robert here says went to New Zealand. It was heaven on earth. That really is. It's it's amazing. Um, hey Nicole, hoping you're having a great day. I loved your performance as Daniela and everyone's favorite super cop. I love watching your streams as well. You're amazing. Love from Ireland. Oh, thank you so much. Hi Ireland. So much love to you. And that's the that's the first positive message you've had of this whole chat. They've just been so negative yeah. towards you this whole time. I know, time, they're just pretty know? neat. Although I do really love that chat is mostly full of, don't you love me? <laughs> there you go, guys. You got it. Uh, dog boy, could I get a greeting in Jill's fashion? All the love, you are the goat from Tyler. Tyler, you want stars? I'll give you stars. <laughs> love it. Princess Queen, Nicole, can I also get a shout out for my BFF Carly in the Daniela voice? Uh, 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 yeah, I just, she has such ridiculous lines and they're always inappropriate. We're just going for it. <laughs> Carly, kiss me. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, that is a line. We, we played that Look, earlier. That's what they gave me. All right. Yeah. No, that's, you didn't I'm request that one. You didn't request that one? Uh, uh, Skull Taker, it's the Jill sandwich. It I bet, was. I bet you haven't heard that one before, mm, Nicole. Never. Uh, <laughs> Nicholas, hey, Nicole, big fan of your streams and your work. What drives you to wanting to be a part of this franchise and what do you love about it from Nicholas? Oh, my goodness. Um, I mean... Anytime you're working on something that has passionate people behind it that are passionate about what they are making and really care, like it's a dream and are talented, which is also helpful. Um, so like doing like all of that combined, it's just really fun to be on a project like that because I've kind of said this before, I've never been on a mocap stage where people didn't want to be there because most people that work in games at some level are a fan of something. It matters in their childhood somewhere. They, they care. So everyone shows up really wanting to be there. And I think that's a really powerful thing to have at a workplace. Um, so from that perspective, I just love that environment a lot. And then as far as the community, like I say this over and over and over and it will never get old. Like these games would not be made without the enthusiasm of the fans and without the, the, just the, the, crazy number of people that have essentially created the legacy that is resident evil you know this this franchise continues because people are passionate and they care and they're excited and they make art and they have opinions and they talk to each other and they interact and they engage and they have statues you know what i mean like that's 
that's what makes this happen. So I would not be here without so, so many people. And that's just a really, really humbling place to be. It just makes me feel incredibly grateful and, and honored that anyone would want to come hang out on a stream or listen to an interview or chat or, you know, show up in my discord or mention me on Twitter and, and say, Hey, like, I can't always get to everyone at this point, but like, it always means the world. Cause I'm like, that's an, another human being that wants to engage with me because of something that I did that hit them in some way. And like, that's as an artist, the most satisfying, fulfilling thing you could ask for. That's, that's all you want, right? Someone, mm. it meant something to someone. Um, and watching how these games mean something different to every individual person, whether you're a nostalgia player, whether you're new to the franchise, we've got people, you know, from freaking 13 to 50, 60 years old that like know Resident Evil and, and love it. And that's just a diverse, unique community. I'm on a tangent. Basically, I could talk all day long about how much humans amaze me and how grateful I am to spend any time at all with <laughs> um some other lovely beings and you know resident evil 3 you and you and jeff and neil did a great job i tell you what but i just wanted more of you like you did such a good job i wanted double the content <laughs> you know what i mean i mean same uh, yeah. <laughs> same uh, would love that um especially seeing how much like uh, marketing and hype and stuff that's gone into village you know just just seeing like i hope that continues uh with all of their you know capcom coming released games just like continuing to just really really market and put in a lot of a lot of um, effort and joy because the fans want it and are here for it when you know they deliver that so how'd you i've had both those guys on jeff and jeff and neil how'd you go with uh working you know, with like, those two <laughs> imbeciles you know they're just so such they're, they're not very aren't nice, they are they? Aren't they amazing? But yeah, they're awful. Just really cruel humans. Um, they're no. just top blokes, I call them in Australia. Top blokes. Oh, okay. That's yeah. just legends. Absolute legends. They're legend. They're, I mean, amazing. I, all I can do is just like, at this point, they're family. They just are. You know, Neil always calls me his little sister. Uh, Jeff is just like such a, a close friend and talented actor at this point i'm i'm always just like i don't know the way that you get to support other people when they become really close friends or family like you're just excited for every single one of their successes whether that's in their personal life with their family or their career and being at that level is just really um satisfying i actually met both of them at the callback for resident evil 3 and i remember coming out of one of my reads and I looked over and I was like, these these dudes know what's going on. They've done this before. All right, guys, what do you think looks better? If I hold the gun like this or like that? And I mean, the second you ask two people that have had military training and do stunts and all that fun stuff. You have like, a double how to yeah. hold a gun. <laughs> you've got two guys that are like game to just like make you look as badass as possible. And so they always like in the parking lot with them. That's great. They're like, hey, I'm auditioning for Jill Valentine. Please make me look as cool as her um that's awesome and they did and here i am so you know i we can get a little credit for that that's of course neil newborn and jeff shine, jeff shine. Great, oh, great yeah. guys. if you're not following them do so <laughs> they're in a few games they're in a few games uh um, yeah skull taker will you be playing through any other re games um so i get this question on the daily i there's never not me existing somewhere where someone's like well re4 well have you played the original re3 well what about um are you gonna play resistance well what about you know all of that uh fun stuff revelations come on you haven't guys there are so many resident evil games i just keep saying like all in good time and no promises uh yes i will absolutely continue to play uh for now Everyone wants to know, like, what's after Village? And I'm like, w I'm just in the castle. We have so know. much left of the castle. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, what do you mean? I'm going to be here for like another six weeks on this game because I play really slow too. So are you planning but, on getting some more of the actors on for that playthrough? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Maggie is going to come on again on Wednesday, which is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, two days from now, um, to finish out the castle section. And then I've got... Uh, pretty much each of the lords kind of like planned out and a few other people here nice. and there, um, nice. to come hang on so you'll see neil you'll see jeff you'll see jesse if we can coordinate our schedule andy norris and paula rhodes um is my plan so um 
lots as as many as many as I can get to come say hey. I love it. I love it. And uh, I actually want to play through Resident Evil Four again as well. But there's just I think you don't want to play them all back to back. You want to you know you want to play something else in between. You know you just get burnt out like you, you would with anything. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. Noctober here says, I love you, Nicole. Hope to see you return as Jill in the future. Oh, so much love to you as well. And I would love that just as much as you would. Sean says, Nicole Tompkins' work as Daniela is astonishing. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Kyla Law. Hey, Nicole, love your work. Your voice is heavenly. Oh, I appreciate that. You guys are really nice to me. <laughs> Marco, Nicole, we met at a freaky car show con in San Antonio. San Antonio. Did. Hi, Marco. <laughs> one small con, but still a con. So happy we met in person. Yeah, I did. I got to go to one very, very small little thing. Uh, end of last year when the, everything was like down for a minute. And it was like, oh, I think we're going to be able to do this. And it was all like super, super socially distanced and whatever else. So I got to do one little thing. And then as soon as I got back, like numbers started to rise again and everything immediately was like, nope. Yeah. Uh, you'll be back there soon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't People wait. are getting vaccinated over there, aren't they, now? It's pretty... Yep. It's getting yep, better. Yep, yep. Oh, so much better. It's so yep. exciting. A bunch of us Resident Evil people are all double vaxxed, so we get to go see each other. I have, like, a, a live sign with Maggie and Becca coming up, and we're all going to see each other in person, and we haven't seen each other in person for so long. We're going to get together and, like, sign a print together, and I, I cannot wait because we're all just... We're excited to just, like, spend time and hang out. So when's the last time you saw them? 2020? Early 2020 or 2019? Really early 2020. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Early 2020, for sure. Yeah. And then, like, more... I actually think Becca, it's been since 2019. So are you going to do that on your IG or your Twitch? Or are you going to stream? Oh, it? yeah, I'll be, yeah. Streaming, I'll be streaming on Twitch. Yeah, we have a... If you... If anyone here wants a signed print, all the Resident Evil people have um, Streamly shops open right now. If you go to streamly.com slash Resident Evil, you'll see tons of prints, including prints from Maggie and me and Becca. Um, or you can go to individual shops with our name at the end. Um, I'm going to get the trio yeah. one. Do it. <laughs> where Where is it going to go on the wall, though? Do we, does it, right do we here, get a wall? Right there. Do we, yeah, do we? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, great. But I need some personalization from you and and the two other level ladies, all right? Okay. Well, I mean, I saw, look after I saw me. of, of Maggie, um, you know, just telling you how pathetic you were on Twitter. <laughs> um, so I'm sure she could add something like that on there if that's your thing. Um, people seem people. Everyone was messaging me saying, "Dan, you're so lucky to be insulted by Maggie." I mean, it's <laughs> such an honor. Insulted by Maggie. <laughs> oh, by Lady D. Oh, Far out. Did you think that that character would blow up that much? I mean, honestly, I just really didn't think. I think when we're on set, we don't spend too much time really thinking about the fan base as much because what we're doing is so story focused. So it's not helpful to kind of think about how it will be received. That's someone else's job. You know, that's a writer, a director, a, a whatever else, like they're a developer, like they're thinking mm. more specifically on how it's going to be received because our job is to get in there and be as... Be the character, yeah. You know, yeah, creative and invested as possible. Um, so when we were doing it, definitely had no concept or thought about how big she would be. But as soon as stuff started to come out, I was like, oh, 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 do you, I get it. Okay. All right. Um, so then we then we sort of clued into like, right, this is going to be like a thing. Like people are going to be into it. So um, it was fun. <laughs> you, you have you seen some crazy videos that are that are online? Like I'm not going to go to specific videos, but have you seen some crazy video? I'm sure you have. Yeah. I've seen a few at least. Yeah. Are you, do you just laugh or what's your reaction? Always. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's just. <laughs> It's just silly. how could you not sometimes? I mean, there's also just like some uh, there's some really good funny stuff. There's some mm. stuff so smart. Smart. Um, there's so smart I stuff love, as well, yeah. I love the smart stuff. I just think it's so funny. There's some good memes that are just like, yes. 
Um, so I, I enjoy that sort of stuff. And I sort of echo Maggie on this. Uh, I said it before because she said it and she sounded so smart saying it. So like when in doubt, just copy your friend who's cool. Um, <laughs> she, she, she was like, I mean, once you've done the character, I also think Jeff Shine has said this. I'm going to credit everyone else around me. That's no, no, it was you. Me. It was you. You were the first one to say it. Excuse me, I originated this. You said watch. it back in 2018. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, basically. You just didn't know it then because I, yeah, exactly. Um, but no, once once you've done it, like you let the characters go. They don't belong to you anymore. They belong to the fans. They belong to the players. They belong to the people that are making fan art, that are modding, that are doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, you know, at, at that point, it's just, you've, you've given it. You've given it out. You did your job and... You had a blast doing it. You can be proud of what you did or not proud of what you did. Um, and at that point, it's, it's not yours anymore. You don't have any control over it. So why would you try to? Has there been a difference in fan reception from RE3 last year to this one? I think, um, like, to me directly or to the yeah, game? To you, to you, to you. To me directly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't... I mean, lots of people who have kind of, like, decided to latch on and hang out um pretty well early on was like so you're elena right and i was like i don't know i don't know um but not a lot of them guessed daniela because elena sounds a lot more like me but just really kind of scared um all the time uh so <laughs> so so people kind of like got her pretty quick um and so you know those those people have, have all been just like so supportive and excited to have me come back i've had lots of people i've also had lots of people be like why weren't you jill and i was like <laughs> because i don't decide these things i don't just walk in and be like oh i think i'm gonna put jill in this video game today. <laughs> like that's not my job um wish but it's not um, so oh, I, I did have some people, people shouting yeah. at me over that. And I was like, well, I love you. And I thank you so much for your enthusiasm. I also love Jill. You want to at Capcom and, you know, start your start your Jill campaign with them because I, I don't have any say. Um, so otherwise, it's also been really fun to have like new people come on that are new to the series and didn't play the remakes because they're not necessarily nostalgia players. They're mm. like new horror game players yeah, and have someone just on. said they didn't know what jill sandwich was so there you go yeah 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 i mean there's mm. there's plenty like we have such a diverse group so plenty of people are also just coming on being like i just love you you know as the dumbatrisk family and like it's so lovely and i feel like i'm part of the family and all that and it's it's great i mean i have yet to I'm not even going to say it like that. I have had almost nothing but just really, really positive reception. And if there's anything negative, it always is like so drowned out by the army of people just being so supportive and excited and enthused. And that's just one of the best parts of this um, franchise and this community. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Uh, Z Tune, can we get a link for those prints? Uh, it's streamily. What's it? Streamily. Streamily.com slash Nicole Tompkins will take you to my shop slash Resident Evil will take you to like a whole bunch of them. Maggie Robertson, Becca Pruitt. It's streamly.com slash fill in a name. I'm pretty um, sure I've got it linked in the description. If I if I did my no I don't, but I'll put it in after this okay. is done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. The trio print, if you want one of all of us signing, it's very big. Um, I think you should big. that's what I'm gonna get, guys. So I recommend supporting all three. Have it's on and... uh, all of our shops so you yeah. can find it in any one of the shops um and then otherwise we have lots of solos and we did create some solos that all match so if you just want to create an entire collage i'm not going to stop you oh well, don't give me another option <laughs> uh how did you find did you find resident evil 7 scary nicole from dust pro yes When I first loaded up that game, I turned to my, my BTS crew, my people that are just kind of like behind me. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm going to, uh, because I, I haven't, I, I it's funny. Sure, I've been in a lot of horror, done some horror movies, done some horror games, um, survival horror, especially fun. But like, did not grow up being like, horror is my genre. Like, I don't watch a lot of horror. I don't choose a lot of horror as like, oh, I'm just going to relax to this nice slasher movie like just not 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 really where not, i had you're not relaxing to the conjuring every night 
I'm not, you uh, know, I'm more likely like going to watch Ted Lasso. I mean, the great British great Bake Off. If we're going reality TV, like just something wholesome. I, I'm good for some dark dramas, but just as far as like straight horror, I love psycho thrillers. Anything that like makes you really think, love that stuff. Like what? Um, like what? Well, I just mean like, I'm talking, if you're talking about like things that kind of like scoot over into the horror genre. Like, What's a psycho shiny. thriller that you like? Give me a name. Give me a... Give like the shining. the shining like the shining yeah, yeah yeah that's a psycho thriller yeah. you know and a horror film but like it really like crosses that sort of stuff i did um a movie called anthem that i think is kind of like a slow burn psycho thriller in some ways though it's marketed as a horror movie oh, i'm gonna watch it um, okay i haven't seen yeah. it yeah yeah yeah. are um, you a lead are you big, yeah 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 I'm a lead nice movie. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a very like indie film. Some people love it, some people hate it, and it's kind of like split right down the middle about that film. And I'm just proud to have been part of it. Like I love, I, I love, love indies. That. Yeah, no, I'll give it a yeah, crack. Yeah. Yeah, um. Great. So so good. Yeah. So that's the right. So RE seven <clears throat> back around here. I am. I made it. Thank you. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. I got you, Dan. This is your show. I'm removed. I'm, no, no, I'm it's your show. It's your show. I'm, I'm the guest. <laughs> Well, I know. I was just trying to be nice. Um, <laughs> yes, RE7 was terrifying. Uh, I definitely got more confident as the game went on and I had guests on. But when I was just playing by myself, just like going through rooms, I was, I took forever. Because I was like, I don't want it. No. Um, and then I got a lot better at it. And I started to be like, I don't want to know. But I was at least running. We've got so many questions. I just realized we're nearly an hour in. Are you all right, you're all right to keep going, Nicole? I'm chilling. I'm chill. I'm chilling if you're chilling. Isn't it I'm early chilling. for you? Isn't it like it's eight? Like... It's nine a.m. here. Morning. Do you so, have your coffee? This is this is this is how I wake up to beautiful, talented actors like yourself. <laughs> this is this is just a usual day for me. This is how well, I get going. This is how I eat P and J sandwiches on interviews <laughs> and apricots on interviews with Dan. That's the only way to eat a PB and J sandwich, y'all. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Johnson, Nicole, how were you contacted to come back for Village? And did you know ahead of time about this project? Riding the line. Of ride the I line, did. ride the line, girl. Um, Don't get in trouble. Yeah. Um, no. Yes. No. I wasn't. Okay. I was aware, having worked on Resident Evil 3, that like Capcom has more games. So like I was aware that there might be another game at some point, mm -hmm. but I didn't know um, at all about any sort of involvement um, or timeline or anything, right? You just kind of assume like there's probably something. Um, and then Steve, who Knebly, who directed RE3, also directed Resident Evil Village. Yep. Um, yep. And he actually called me and was like, hey, uh, I'm doing the next resident evil and i was like what amazing congratulations um and also there's this little role her name's elena um <clears throat> and i would love to have you come kind of do her i'm working on approvals and all that sort of stuff because he doesn't have final say mm -hmm. um there's a whole team of people that's the other thing i always try to we like actors we get to get interviewed and all this there's such an incredible army of talented developers, people at Capcom. Yeah. developers animators just, i mean it's an army of people that make these games come to life there are so many people responsible there are so many people that have to approve They're incredible. yes it's unbelievable Un crazy so basically steve uh you know called me about that and then capcom approved it and they were like yeah let's have her play elena and I was like, that's so cool. I'm so honored that they want me back. And that was my reaction just like that. And um, <laughs> uh, then I got another call and was like, oh, so there's this, there's this, uh, there's a witch sister. She's a vampire. Her name's Daniela. She's like one of three. It's small. You'll have fun. I was like, oh, great. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, but then once we got to set, I was like, this isn't that small, guys. Like, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so I felt very trusted because they like definitely sort of minimized uh kind of what that minimized such a giant uh, castle and, and joy. Um, so we found out, like, I found out mostly when I was on set about, like, what Daniela is, like, how she talks, how she walks. Like, we, we worked on all of that on the day. So no audition for you at all? Well, I'm... Kind of. Cause I, I cuz Becca said Becca told me she, obviously she auditioned but she actually auditioned 
for um for Lady a D different... as well. She for said, Lady D? Yeah, she said she also oh, wow, read yeah. for that, yeah. No, yeah. I didn't do that. So, no. like, the casting was, um, so Workhouse is an amazing production company run by Rosanna Sun um, and her, uh, and DJ, and they are uh, very amazing and talented, and they handled a lot of the casting for this game as well as, as production in the U.S., and so I kind of, like, got shuffled in between because I was coming from having worked on the other game, and they were casting a bunch of new people, obviously, as well. But you also saw RE7. They managed all of that. So you saw a bunch of the RE7 people come back um, in Village as well. Sarah Coates is in there. Paula Rhodes. Jesse Pimentel. Uh, so yeah, they brought yeah. people from RE7 back. Um, and, and we kind of got to meet through that. So there was, like, the audition process was not the same as Resident Evil 3, where you just, like, here's an audition. I don't know what it's for. I'm going to go in. I think Jeff had, like, an audition more like that. But mine, at first, I think they thought Elena was going to be really small, like, kind of a just a cameo. And in some ways, like, she kind of is. Um, and then she, like, her part got bigger and then smaller. Like, everything changes in development always, all the time. Um, so it was it was a lot less, like, we don't need a whole big audition process for you. We know you can do this little role. Elena, um, going then, too soon, man. She's, what was she thinking? In, rest in peace. Uh, believe me, I ask myself that. When I first <laughs> read her What death, are you doing, like, girl? You were completely fine. I mean, Dan, try to tell me. I have to convincingly choose to go back to my dad. Spoilers, guys, if you haven't played this game. Whoops. Um, yeah, I had to, like, make it convincing that she needed to go back to Papa. Far out. Good character, <laughs> too. Oh, well. Go on to, to, go on to quickly. Um sunset here says hey nicole love watching you and maggie play through re8 can't wait for part two this week yes i found fan art of lady d reading a bedtime story to the daughters yes. um, i'll link it to you love you girls so much oh Thanks, so far i saw a few of them because on the stream we were like lady d could read a bedtime story and then these amazing fan arts popped up so cool Erwi Marks, love your work, Nicole. Can't wait for the next stream. I watched your Among Us YouTube video. It was hilarious. What tips will you give someone starting out for voice acting? Um, I'll, I mean, I'm big on like getting into acting classes because voice acting is acting, um, just like theater or film or anything else. It has a couple more technical requirements um, that come along with it, but um, get an acting class and get working and also if you have the chance like get on a mic record yourself on your iphone create your own stuff listen back listen to commercials on the radio listen to people that you like you know just kind of be a sponge to people around you and then listen back to your own stuff and say like you know is it there what's missing um and big time if you can find uh mentors and people that inspire you and hold you up it's a challenging career because it's an artist's career and that always can be challenging in some ways but maybe not any more challenging than any other unique and amazing career so um my suggestion is have a life outside of it you got to be a whole person i think to be a, a really a, a whole actor as well like just have mm. a, have a, lead a good life as an individual too because it'll make your work that much stronger i think I was saying this earlier, like a lot of people, we absolutely make art from our pain as, you know, people, as artists, as individuals. But like, I don't think people should have to forever, you know, make something good out of that pain and then heal. Like, I think healing is such an important part of being an artist as well. So I'm always, I'm always an advocate for the, the healthy artist, the artist that's really headed towards wholeness and trying to do something that matters, you know, with what they're up to. Um, I, I wouldn't, I would I wouldn't call you a voice actor either. I would call you um, performance capture artist, actor. Yeah, that would be. I mean, I you know I. You don't label, mind. Labels mean very little to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I act. I yeah. sing. Yeah. I'm in games. I'm a performance capture artist. I'm a voiceover artist. I'm a motion capture artist. That's and it's so funny, like. There's a difference between performance capture and motion capture because motion capture technically happens without facial capture, but we just say mocap for all of it. Um, so you didn't, so you're not performance technically, or you are? It is performance. I am. You are. I did yeah, all. Yeah. So I was right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you were right. So yeah, it's a it's a performance capture artist. We just nowadays mocap is such an umbrella for all of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
um, because it's easier to say. Yeah. PCAP. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. PCAP. Yeah. Dan and Nicole, you guys are great. Nicole has revitalized my love for Resident Evil and made me fall in love with Jill oh. again. I'd love a shout out to Jill. A shout, I'd love a shout out it from Jill, and his name is Everett. Everett, thank you so, so much for being such a fan. I appreciate you immensely. I mean, what do you want? Everett, bitch can't even swim. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. And I, I um, I actually platinumed uh, platinumed RE uh, RE three earlier this Amazing. year. Amazing! All the trophies and achievements. So thank you, everybody. I'm you know well equipped to talk about. Give a round of applause. Uh, hype chat. This is my show. Let's let's show some kindness to our guests, okay? <laughs> um, if you would, we we really want to we want to boost him. We want to make sure he keeps showing up for things like this. You know. We, we, really <laughs> we want to just encourage him. Congrats, donate, Dan from Jack. Him. Support your you. artist. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate the claps. <laughs> oh, you, you are very, very funny. Mickey fan, Nicole, I just wanted to say that I loved you as Daniela. I'm literally fighting her right now. My question oh. is, could you say the line, so you finally came to see me? Everyone falls for me in time. <laughs> so you finally come to see me. Everyone falls for me in time. Shit, that was a one-to-one -one recreation. Thank you. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. Say, sorry. I said we do our best. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk, what were the differences between RE3 and RE8 and working on them? Good question. Like the working process? Yeah. Because the difference is um, I feel like are apparent. Just different stories completely. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> well, RE3, we did all of our performance capture in Tokyo, in Japan. That was different. Um, and also one of my favorite things I've ever done. And all of the performance capture for Village, we did in Los Angeles. Um, so different locations, which just changes kind of the energy of, you know, oh, I'm living here for a month and then coming back and then, and then just kind of being at home and getting to go in every day. Um, and then also like the cast for Village, I don't know if you noticed, but there are like a lot of people in Resident Evil um so there was just so many cast members and i think that was really fun because we just got to meet a ton of people and work with a ton of people resident evil 3 was a pretty tight-knit group and they um like five or six neil played like neil played like seven characters in that game that's all i'm gonna say you know like he's he's everywhere he um, is nemesis isn't he he is Nemesis, Nikolai, a bunch of the zombies. Uh, he did some performance capture. He also played you. He played Jill, yeah? You were yeah, just, he you're was just a cover-up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just a face. Like, I'm just here <laughs> for this kind of stuff, you know? Kind of talk, talk. That sort of, that's all me. Every All, all the, like, the real work is, is Neil. Um, <laughs> yeah. What was that like in Japan? That must have been an amazing experience. Oh, my gosh. Living there I, for how long? I've been there three times now and like it's kind of two to three weeks each time so yeah for Resident Evil uh, I got to go both in the summer which is when it's really rainy and very hot and the fall which is when all the leaves turn red mm. um, which I loved Amazing. getting to kind yeah. of see both and in the fall I went and traveled and went to like Kyoto and, and some other cities around japan uh because if you're in japan you you do that i'd love and, to go um, i always just say like if you if you have the chance to go go like definitely go it was a really moving experience for me not only because i was working on something that just was so cool um with very cool people but also i just i mean the cuisine the culture the the city it's oh. just such a fun experience and um i i i loved it wouldn't trade it for anything Oh, I'd love to go. Absolutely love to go. I will go soon. Aren't you guys close? You're a lot closer in time zone, aren't you? I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah, because yeah. for me to go to Japan or for you, like, literally right now, it's it's such an insane time jump. That yeah, we're seven thing. hours. We're seven hours. But usually we're f 
five or five hours, but it's daylight savings and all that sort of stuff comes into. You're seven hours from Japan? No, seven hours behind you, but a day ahead. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's not seven hours behind. That's a full yeah, bazillion yeah. hours ahead. I, that's how I work it in my brain. So that's what I'm like, saying though. Japan's yeah. like, it's like a, it's like a, th- 14 yeah, yeah. i think at one point there was like a 17 hour like it was an insane time difference so i mean day two when you first get there and you're like working by lunchtime all of the american actors look like they have the flu like we're literally just stumbling around it's really, like lunchtime yeah. and we're like it's 4 a.m what's happening <laughs> um so i mean that's the time to do the zombie work honestly so i asked i asked uh, maggie this question how much sleep are you getting nicole because me and her we're not getting enough sleep we're only getting six hours we're night hours we need to work on it are you a bit better I'm sorry, than us dan dan i'm an eight hour or bust eight oh, hour or bust. yeah no yeah i'm a i'm a the other the other day like i i take pride i had the i finally like had the chance after like a really long week like like I can, I can sit in for like, I just got 12 hours of sleep. I nice. just did a 12 hour shift. Y'all I am a new human, <laughs> um, but mostly, mostly eight. I'm there. I'm there for the eight hours. Um, are you a cat- night out or are you off early? What's early? I think it really just depends on the day. Um, I would say I, I'm probably, I, I do mornings pretty well but i don't Mm. mind staying up because i i mean i did theater and all that sort of stuff like growing up you do theater and then after you wrap your performance at like 11 you've got school in the morning and we're like all going to ihop which is the international house of performers if you're a theater kid but it's the international house of pancakes if you're american Um, yeah so you go to ihop because ihop stays open 24 hours it's the only place to go when you're underage and like in a theater thing and so you you like go to ihop and eat pancakes at two in the morning so like i've definitely done the night owl thing but i i pretty well get up um before by eight in the morning which is not that early for some people yeah 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 uh well talking of theater you've done peter pan suzical sound of music i'm impressed uh what else have you done annie i mean what haven't you done in the theater space i mean i i had done like over 20 musicals by the time i was like 13 because i just was a musical theater nerd so like i'd done lots of lots of community and school productions as well but it definitely just meant that i can break into most musicals um so at some some point this is going to break into the greatest showman at some point yeah isn't it i mean but what's your favorite song like how do you even pick Mm. like do you go straight for like um i like from now on you know that song? From now on. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, I don't know the, the lyrics to that one. It gets me pumped uh, up, that song. I love it. See, I like the little I like the little boy. I close my eyes. Oh, that's good. I, I like them all. Oh. World that's waiting up for me. Oh, please, yeah. please continue. No, no, that's <laughs> okay. I mean, it is your morning serenade, but I call my own. Uh, no. no good movie only if you join in like i'm not doing it unless you're duetting me <gasps> guys this is my show and on my show what happens we always make our guests sing so are we gonna overtake the chat <laughs> no, we're right not. now we're <laughs> no. gonna overtake the chat right now and we're gonna get dan allen possibly for the first time ever to sing <laughs> on my channel even a happy birthday will do dan but you know what the mic is all yours my friend Happy birthday to Nicole. Happy birthday to Nicole. Happy birthday to Nicole Tompkins. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Zoom like cut you out, but that was intense. The man can sing. Uh, new channel dan allen sings yeah i'll make that ah, after blessings we did it and it's I not even it. your birthday but you can keep that it basically is though i'll have that forever <laughs> chaotic gamer here says tell nicole i said hello ask her please to say um you can't swim so you finally come to see me oh that's gonna be tough blending those two yeah, good luck with that. Uh, both of them back to back? Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do that. 
Also, I'm so sorry. Apparently, I didn't catch that you made a whole Lady D song, and chat is informing. Yeah, me I did do a Lady D song. Yeah, you'll have well, to check that out after. Yeah, it's a it's a very out. heartfelt ballad, emotional ballad. Um, oh, good. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pull it up right. Oh now. no, you don't have to. It's it's all good. Seriously, you don't you oh, don't okay. have. I just gotta have it. I just gotta have it up. Oh, Guys, okay, okay. I got his Lady D song. Okay, yeah, I've been I've been getting yeah, so many requests. I just Google Dan Allen Lady D song, and it comes up because that's how cool you are, Dan. Um, all right, wait, who was it to? Who was the line to? Chaotic Gamer. Chaotic Gamer? Bitch can't even swim. What was the second line? Danielle, you I finally totally come to see me. Finally yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bitch can't even swim. So you finally come to see me. Everyone falls for me in time. <laughs> I mean, those don't really go together, but I don't that's care. Chaotic I love it. Gamer. I love it. Oh, and he also got one from Maggie, so he's loving life now. Chaotic oh, gamer. Oh, look at you! Far You're up. up. You are one lucky son of a bitch. Uh, Goku Neku still waiting for Chris to ask Jill to marry him, or at least team up again. That would be awesome. Same. No such proposal. Hey Nick, you're a sweet person with a heart of gold. I just want to ask if there's a superhero you'd like to voice or play as. Love from Malta. I'm sure that there is. And I feel like it's more, for me, it's more like a, like a surprise. Like I don't sit necessarily and think like, oh man, I really want to voice that person. But if I get the opportunity to, and like get a chance to just work on some material and, and like put a twist on something and see what I have to offer um, and it like jives, then it's like, oh, I mean, it, match made in heaven. It was meant to be. And I think that's how it happens a lot with roles. So I think I would just turn that question back to you and be like, is there a superhero that you would like to see me play? Um, mm. Because I'm, I'm open to it regardless. I reckon you'd be a really good Poison Ivy. Not a superhero, bit of an anti-hero villain. Bit of an anti-hero. But I think you'd knock I've that out of the really park. I've really sweet Poison Ivy costumes in her time. Go a little bit more red again. My hair has been sometimes red and sometimes not. Yeah, if you get that bright red. Go for the bright red. We could might, do it. You could knock it out, I reckon. Jeff Carroll in chat asked, who did the mocap for Nemesis? It's still Neil Newbon. He did all the performance capture for Nemesis. Um, and he looked silly doing it. There's BTS. Go find it. I haven't watched that actually. I should. He's he's he loves his creature work, doesn't he, Neil? Oh, loves it, loves it. Can't get enough. Dan, where's the album? I'm working on it. Me and me and Nicole are gonna do a, a joint album. Uh, oh my god, yo, yeah. bro, we weren't allowed to talk about oh, that. Oh, sorry, shit. You didn't the NDA. sign the NDA. Oh shit. Oh, Yikes! Shit. All right. Yeah, well, there you go. It's well, out there now. <laughs> guess you guys know now. Uh, dark end concept. dark end game what's your opinion on the outcome of godzilla versus kong nicole i haven't seen it yet i'm oh, sorry no you don't know who wins I'm sorry do you want the spoiler really... or not no i don't want the spoiler okay. i haven't seen it i don't want the spoiler and i wanted to go see it in the movie theater and i just haven't been to a movie theater yet but i'm i'm committed to like i want to go see it in a movie theater so you haven't been at all for the last, since the pandemic, eh? Yeah. It's been crazy. I'm so ready to go back. They're opening now. And now that I'm vaccinated, I think it would feel comfortable. What, what movie will bring you back? No, I mean, the movie's out now. I would, I would go see any movie. I just, I've, I've, my life's just been a little bit crazy. So by the time I get to like, ah, oh, movie watching time, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to lay down. No, but um, I mean like what movie would bring you back? Like this is, this is my cup of tea. You know what I mean? I got it. No, I mean, I want to see uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, yeah. I want to see Mortal Kombat. Um, mm. I've heard mixed thoughts about that one. Um, that was shot in Australia, that one. Um, well, good. Aren't you nice? Um, <laughs> and, I mean, there's just so much good content coming out right now. I've been on a TV kick recently, though. I've been watching a lot of TV. What have you been watching? I've been watching Handmaid's Tale, uh, which is uh, a very... It's just too film. depressing, Nicole. I can't... It's so depressing oh, I, it's so I, just... put it off the, I put it off for the longest time because i was just like i don't think that's my cup of tea 
Um, but now I've been watching it with my mom. Like actually my mom and I have been watching Handmaid's Tale together. And we're both like really cheery, optimistic people. And we're just like, why are we still watching this show? It's so sad, but it's just really well done. It's well acted and it's very interesting. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I love I love the actors in that show. I, I really I'm invested at this point. So now I got to see it through. It has it has it has some episodes that I think like dip that are just like, no, nah, I don't know. If, I don't know if I needed that one. Um, mm. And then it has some ones that are just like so good. Yeah, I just but I, if, if, we're, if we're if we're advocating for TV shows, Ted Lasso is my show of the year. It is oh, a it is a must, it is my must watch must watch list. I was I was watching it when it was coming out like week by week, and I feel like it blew up kind of after it was already out. People will start could binge it. You're an OG, is what you say. Oh, yeah. I'm basically just really subtly being like, guys, I OG. I was one of the first. <laughs> That's on Apple Plus, yeah. Uh, yeah, Apple TV. Apple TV, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a great show with um. What Jason. are you watching yet? Yeah, since we're just hanging at this point. Um, look. What am I watching? I'm watching. I'm about to watch a show called East of May or something. Mayor of. Oh, I was talking to Jeff about this. It so must be compelling. It's a new HBO show. Someone in the chat will tell me, but it's a, it's okay. a, it's a crime thriller about a murder, and I just love HBO shows, so I just know it's yeah. probably going to be quality. Uh, Ma- Ma- Mayor of East Town. Handmaid's Tale is dark. HBO loves to be dark and overly gritty and just like. Well, I love that. So, I love that. They're so indulgent in their darkness. Get yeah, out of yeah. here. Indulgent yeah. as heck, but they're very, very good at making Ma- Mayor of East Town, it's called. I've heard really good things about it. So. Is it Mayor of East Town? I yeah. feel like I did hear Jeff mention that. Yeah, so I've been watching that. Um, and then also, yeah, The Boys Season 2. I've been watching. Yeah. Um, yeah. HBO has just some some really some really good TV. They really do. I feel like I don't know if it was Game of Thrones alone, but like they just really, I think, kind of reminded a lot of like led the way in some ways of like, hey, TV could be really really cinematic and good, guys, and like re inspired some of that. Maybe I shouldn't credit that. I'm sure more people know more about that than I do. But no, no, D- Game of Thrones definitely helped. Definitely help them. There's no doubt about that. Mm. Um, Chanel. Hey, I re- Chanel. I really adore you and the rest of the cast and the performances of the Demetrius family. What is your favorite line? Of the whole game? Yeah, uh, Daniela's um, line. Favorite Daniela oh, line. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was like, <laughs> well, it's probably not mine. There's some great lines in there. Uh, Daniela line. So if I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't made it yet to the Daniela fight. So I've only in my actual playthrough. So I've only had to see other people's. And when this first announced and people started being like, do the, do the thing, do the, say the, say the, say the, I was like, what did I even do? Like, I got to go find this part. Um, because it's been so long. And so I had to go look it up and like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Seeing what lines made it, we recorded so many lines and then they pretty well, I think, just picked what worked for the situation because I didn't originally know that she was going to be in the library. Um, oh, really? But I feel that's the only place that she should be. Yes, come see me in the library. That is where I will be. You were the final. Uh, yeah, you're the final fight. Oh, yeah. I think I can be the second or the oh, final. Oh, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but, 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 but what? Oh, favorite line? Um, I really, I mean god when you see it on a page like all of her stuff is so silly so it was really fun to like walk in the booth and have steve who's just like a dear friend sit on the other side of the glass just like "Mm mm-hmm this is what you get to do today and you have lines that are literally like "Mm, bad boy you can't go anywhere and you're just like that's what i'm doing today how was your day at work hon that was great (laughs) oh uh, no i reckon it's great i reckon it's fantastic you knocked it out of the park uh nicholas rodriguez thank you nicole for executing my question for executing my question you like are that. so welcome i'm so pleased that i could execute your question with such precision i love you and your work and can please continue to make great contact content and inspire the world from nicholas oh, rodriguez Hey, thanks, Nicholas. Petty officer, thank you for that. 
I didn't see the question, so send that one through. Canna, hi from Ireland, Nicole. Great performance in the RE games. Did you find any difference mo-capping a third-person character to one in a cinematic like RE? I don't think there's any difference for you, is there, really? There's you coverage like everywhere. A player character versus a non-player character? I think that's that's Pretty what much, yeah, it? yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the main difference is if you're working on a game that's over the shoulder like Resident Evil 3, your scenes are pretty well just shot like a movie kind of throughout. If you're working on a first-person game like Village, the camera is actually an actor. And mm. so that drastically changes the dynamics on set because everything has to be so specifically choreographed. Because where he's looking determines what gets seen in the cinematic. So, like, Todd is actually camera operating and acting at the same time. So, so he's like, got he one on his it. on his head, yeah? Camera? I mean, it's not an actual camera because, um, you know, it's, it's all digitally. It's digitally done. When he turns his head, it, like, moves the whole environment. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, it's all, I mean, it, that's all magic dev stuff. You'd have to ask yeah, them because yeah, yeah. I only know very minimally, kind of vaguely, like what it looks like to me, but not actually how it all works. Um, so it's just, it's different because we're having to ensure, like, if he's not looking at you, you're not being seen. So you have to either, you know, if, you're, if your line is intended to be on camera, like you have to wait till he's looking at you. Um, and so there's a lot of like technical things that come into the, to the first person stuff. Um, but otherwise, like, you know, it's the same wetsuit. Wetsuit. I love it. Dog boy. It's annoying Tyler again. I think Nemesis would outclass you in swimming lessons, Nicole. Mm, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you're asking me to say something so specific. And I don't really <laughs> want to know. <laughs> I've only said it like three times so far. Would you like to hear it again? As you wish. Look, the thing is, Nemesis, he's a dude, but bitch can't even swim. <laughs> You've got you got a cameo, don't you? Is that the most I do have a cameo? Is that the yeah, most if you requested? want me to say that line to you over and over again, just come find me on cameo. Is that the most requested you get though? No, no. stars. Stars always. Yeah. It, it's forever gonna be stars. Yeah. And I saw you got that nice stars hat um yesterday or whenever i did oh yeah. no i left it in my car man i could pop it on right now and just be like a true where'd you get that from um numbskull designs sent it to me nice. and i was like what numbskull designs love it yeah. numbskull they just sent me a cool hat i was like what it's a star's hat it's on my instagram for those that are like when are you talking about? and make sure you follow nicole on instagram if you're not already guys i mean if you want to come ahead. no i'm no, i'm forcing them to you know, and, and me as well. <laughs> Jacob, Nicole, what was your favorite line to record? I think we mentioned that before. Uh, hey, Nicole, I want to say I'm a goddamn Onion Mason while <laughs> Daniela's voice. No, we can't do that. You won't even get that reference, Nicole. That's from Call of Duty. Um, it's, a, it's a big line in Call of Duty because I, I used to cover it here a couple of months ago. Princess Queen, you thank you. Call of Duty. Did you talk to Jeff about Call of Duty? He's done some COD. Yeah, yeah, we talked. Um, he was in Warzone. Yeah, yeah. He, he Since loves this it. This is my show. I just want to make sure that I'm highlighting you well, Dan, yeah. in all of your available videos. Oh, he's um, so good. Make sure to check out Dan Allen Gaming. He's literally been interviewing like all of the cast of Resident Evil Village because he knows what's hot. Um, <laughs> get in there. And you've watched them all, haven't you, Nicole? You've oh, watched every, every single watch, one, every from start second. to finish. Yes, all of them. <laughs> oh, which one was your favorite then? If you watched them all. Sorry, you cut out. <laughs> I said the one with my friend. <laughs> oh god, what a cop out! I mean, Maggie's was pretty hard to beat, but I always want to throw love to to Jeff Shine um, because he deserves every second. And Neil, now you're making me pick. See, we don't do favorites. Princess Queen, thank you, Nicole. I'm also from Texas too. Hey, what's up? Love it. Uh, Melzy, you're so wholesome. I love your energy, Nicole. Same to you too, Dan. Love from London. Hey, Dan, 
Can we, oh, we actually don't know what it's showing up like on the stream, but can we do, can we do like a, we can do like a high five. Can we do like a virtual high other five? Way, other way, other way, other way. This me. way? Yeah, yeah. This way. Bang. Ah, ah. <laughs> I think we did it. Uh... <laughs> I feel good about it. Look at us. We nailed it. That was our wholesome high five. You're welcome. I'm going to clip that. Good. Tell Nicole she's awesome. Also, can she compare some quotes from both Jill and Daniela? <laughs> compare them? In what way? Oh, well, this is a very sexual, flirtatious quote. And this is a quote where she's trying to murder a zombie. Ugh, they have such unique differences, don't they? It's almost as if here she's trying to seduce you. But here she wants you dead. Oh, you're not going to get a better answer than that. <laughs> oh, Farah. <laughs> uh, Paolo? Oh, I, I probably butchered your name. Sorry, mate. Can you take us back to the moment where you were developing Daniela's voice, character, fight, and death scenes? Thank you so much, Nicole. I'm hoping to see you in future RE titles. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going back to my roots another day. All right, uh, back to back to when that happened. Yes, it was 2019, and I was hired to do a job, and I was like, "This what, is so nice." What voice is that? Is that David Attenborough? I'm hearing, or I have no idea. <laughs> Whoever knows? Whoever knows what voice it is? Honestly. So oh, um, before you say that, Zombie Flower says Nicole and Dan are my new favorite chaotic duo. <laughs> yes, we have taken over the chaotic duo status in your life. Welcome. <laughs> I mean, Dan knew this was going to happen. I, I mean, we haven't done an interview. I had a whole other game come out. We, we've we had so many people be like, when are you going to go talk to Dan? And I was like, well, when is Dan going to come talk to me? And so <laughs> this has been a long time coming. Here we are. It's happening. So we had to, you know, give him heck and, and make it challenging and fun. <laughs> uh, so the original question, before I threw you out on a tangent again, was... I mean, that's what I'm here for is the tangent. Taking though. you back all the way to 1993, back when you developed this game. No, 2019, doing the death scenes and the... Oh, that's a spoiler, but... Yeah, what was what was it? Was that, is that mocap for yeah. El Eleanor? Where, Elena? Yeah, oh yeah. El, yeah, where you're falling and all that? Like, how does that work? Yeah, <laughs> fun thing. Um... There's a couple different ways her stuff was done, but I think for the actual fall, I think it was all video game magic. I'm not sure. I was going to say it must be. Yeah, yeah. I think it was video game magic. I don't think there was a stunt. I didn't do a stunt fall for that version. Um, but you wanted to. Well, I mean, <laughs> no? it's really funny. You know what I did do, and I will take full credit for this. I did when I streamed it as well. So if you were on my stream old news um i when when she goes back to run to her father she like stumbles because the floor like gives out underneath her and i did pretend to have the floor give out underneath me and that was convincing uh and the floor did not in fact give out from underneath me so you know i did that part uh which is fun so yeah no uh, it was like done on a giant ramp and we kind of like stumbled on it and then for ethan was like todd was all the way above on this platform it was like a whole rig that they created to have like the different levels we did have the actual levels which was really cool so there was an actual ramp and the whole thing and then um he kind of like looks down and i did a whole like up to him sort of death mm. holler dan uh, apparently decker star says daniella has 103 voice lines not to mention all the other noises struggles and efforts you know more than 103 I do. that's a very specific number I love that you know that, though. I really do. Because I guarantee That's a hardcore fan. We recorded more than 103, but I'm really proud that we have the exact number, and I'm going to stick with that. Um, yeah. So when it came to, like, Daniela, like, finding the the walk and the the voice and all that sort of stuff, it was it was more just leaning into, like, she was the youngest, so they, they were, like, not afraid if I wanted to go high and, like, silly, and so I, I just leaned into that. Um, she's also very kooky and like very just like wide eyed and, and maybe a little bit, I won't say delusional, but just Crazy. living in her own world, living in her own world. 
Um, and so for the walks, I mean, we pretty well put those heels on and we're like, oh, we've got big flowy dresses and we turn into bats with capes. Sweet. Um, not bats. I'm so sorry. Bugs. But we have like the capes. I always think they look like a, like a bat cape because they're like big and black, hey. but then they turn into bugs. Um, and so we kind of just played with like, you know, how would they, how would they walk? What, what would it look like? That first scene where we all sort of like come and, and get Ethan, we got to like step off of boxes because it, it's like coming in from oh, uh, all yeah, the flying yeah, yeah, bugs yeah. and then like, you know, waltzing. There's a little BTS, you can see it. I think of that scene of us like walking hips forward and heels on a mocap stage. Yeah, you know, I uploaded that behind the scenes. It's on 4.5 million views. Would you believe that? Look, you can go watch it on Dan Allen's channel. Why play the game? You can just see it there. Go but, to Dan but, Allen. But don't, uh, you, don't you find that crazy? Yeah. That's, that's so insane. many people have seen it. I just yeah. Crazy. Absolutely um, crazy. Cameo link. Can we get a cameo link? It's just Nicole Tompkins, yeah? Cameo. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's just cameo.com slash Nicole Tompkins or it's Nikki Lee Tompkins. Regardless. Either way, you just... If you type You'll in, find me. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. also just type in Nicole Tompkins. To to our mod here, can you just pop it in if you can, brother? Thank you, mate. Um, to Thanks, the chat. To <laughs> uh, barely stranding. If some lady gent or other was to romance Daniela, how would one romance the library's resident vampire? <laughs> I don't know if Danielle is really romanceable because she wants to romance you. So like you'd have no chance. I think they, I think just offer um, her a drink from your neck and you've got her heart like pretty well. <laughs> and, you know, begins and ends there. Uh, how do you think Daniela and her sisters would celebrate Mother's Day? Oh, we have a huge bash for mom. Huge bash. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We fly around. We, we, we bring her flowers. We do like a whole cake sort of deal. It's cake. like really nice. So cake got like a hand coming out of it or? Oh yeah, Ethan's. <laughs> that poor guy, his hands don't don't catch a break, do they? He doesn't need them. Jesse, question for Nicole. How do you feel about the LGBTQ community adopting the Demetros family? Amazing. Love it. Thank you so much for all of the like amazing art and love. I mean, like I said before, once once we let these characters go, like the people that take and, and bring them and find meaning in them, that's all you, you know? So I, I just feel honored to be a small part and I'm so glad that I could create something that was meaningful to you in, in, in I don't know, a, a, a way that you admire or appreciate. Like that's all I could ever ask for. So thank you so much. Carl Johannesson, maybe a little weird request, but Nicole... Are you able to say I'm gonna enjoy drinking your blood, Carl? <laughs> it would make my day. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy drinking your blood, Carl. When you when you say it now, it is a little bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me to say something in a Daniela line, it's just gonna be weird. <laughs> it's fun though doing the voice. It must be. So fun. Yeah. Oh, of uh, I've had a little bit of a sad week. Am I able to get some encouragement from Jill Valentine from Melzy? Melzy, I'm sorry that you've had a rough week. Hey, good news is rough weeks always highlight the good ones. So feelings are temporary. They really do pass, even if they feel super, super heavy or super, super big in the moment. With a little bit of space, a little bit of time, it always gets smaller. And my biggest recommendation hydrate rest be super super kind to yourself there's there's no reason to beat yourself up on top of already feeling you know down so just like be really nice and, and do something kind to yourself and recognize that you will feel better and it will pass and in the meantime thanks for hanging out here and hopefully maybe laughing a little bit love it avi does nicole watch star wars movies if so what's her favorite one I do watch Star Wars movies, and this is such a, I mean, man, you get the Star Wars fans out to fight, it, it goes down. Um, so we're going to just talk original trilogy because it's the one that deserves, you know, all of its iconic nature. Everyone's like, Empire Strikes Back is the one, but I don't know. I'm really here for the plushy, little squishy teddy bear creatures in number three. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> um. No, it's not even them. Actually, I think they're really, really silly. But I, I actually really like the. I guess it's number six, episode six. Um. 
I like that film not because like I will actually get into film conversations with you about why I preferred that one when I watched I love it. The- Please do. Um, I just felt like it finally had sort of it brought together all of the original concepts, but like very well edited, very tight. And like your final moment, you had three storylines happening. I just felt like it was really ca- well crafted and pretty captivating. Um, so I just, I liked that film because of its pacing and the way that it sort of played out. It was just one of the most enjoyable ones. Of course, I can appreciate what the first one did for cinema, literally, um, and how yeah. people love the second one and like what it stands for. But for some reason, that third one to me, I was like, ooh, like it just, it just worked for me um, pretty well. Ewoks. And then like the new stuff, I totally, yeah, Ewoks. They're not actually my favorite part. That's a joke. I just know that whenever I bring up the third movie, they're like, but Ewoks? And I'm like, look, here's the thing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, um, other, what other, what what other, other, what's some other favorite movies of yours? I mean, I've watched the Lord of the Rings series. I love mm-hmm. fantasy. Um, I'm a musical theater nerd, so, like, I will pick movies that aren't actually technically supposed to be good movies, but movies that I totally love. Like what? Um, like fan of the opera which is a great movie don't fight me um like like love the fan of the opera movie watched it recently that's um, is that uh paul uh the director what's his name again um uh w- uh 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 web mm, 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 mm. guess why we have a computer up so we say people's names right and give them the credit they it's- deserve Oh, fan of the opera. I know Gerard Butler was Phantom. This is necessary. Who directed it? Joel Shoemaker. Oh, really? Directed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, that's just like a silly, like, I I just love that movie because it makes me happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. You just got to pick those. You got to pick the ones that make you happy. Uh, I also really like, so I really enjoyed some of the Joe Wright movies recently. Watched some of those. I'm all over the place. I love I love a good film. I loved some of the recent ones in the past the year, like 1917. I loved like the cinematography in oh, that film. What a movie! Oh, just epic, just amazing. And Visceral I thought the actors, experience I call the it. actors were so uh, good. Like the two lead actor guys, I thought they were amazing. In that, what a, film. What a great movie! What a great just one trying Fantastic. to do one shot the whole way through. I mean, it's just. An epic, a masterpiece. Um, you haven't seen it, guys. Nineteen seventeen for sure. Difficult to do. So I, I loved that. Um, I mean, when we get on movie chat, movie chat can last for hours because I, I love know. different different reasons. You know, you have like stuff that just changed cinema or like really contributed well, and so it's worth mentioning or talking about. And then you have stuff that was like the acting, and then you have modern stuff where you're like, it was just so much fun. So I noticed you you mentioned the cinematography in nineteen seventy. Is that your photography? background sort of see like do you look at cinematography in movies because i do I oh always, yeah are you the same oh yeah. absolutely oh absolutely i mean i'm the worst to watch a movie with people that watch movies with me know this i like to pause i like to talk over i'm so bad um because i talk about <laughs> movies all the time if, if the character's doing it's me, if, that's I me guess, too. Yeah. if i can guess what's happening oh i like oh i like that shot oh come on guys like wh- why was there no foreground there like all of that <laughs> um Oh, that's that's going a bit far. Oh, for <laughs> but sure. I love it. I love it for sure. Uh, um, uh, mimicking people when I like don't like their vocal performance, or when I love their vocal performance, and I'm just like, oh, that voice. Um, yeah. Yeah, just all that. All you still that doing sort of... photography? Like, you still? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I actually did two photo shoots this 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 weekend. Um, in wow. addition to everything that's going on. Um, Because I I love it. And I had two friends, one that is having a baby and one at a maternity shoot. And I was like, done, say no more. I'm there. Um, And then another friend that needed some portraits. I did a whole session with Maggie. You'll see more of her um, Lady D um, inspired outfits coming out. Like any of her Lady D outfit stuff. Like we did a whole session. I'm so excited for her to post more. And you've edited them? And they're all ready? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did all, they're all, she has all of them. Yeah, go, go bug Maggie. I have the secrets out. She's got a whole session of super. That's awesome. Sweet photos of her in like different kind of Lady D-esque, cosplay-esque. Do you think um, you'll, because I know you did the Jill Valentine cosplay. Will you do one as Daniela, you reckon? 
So I originally was like, I didn't have plans to, but then everyone was like, where's our Daniela cosplay? And I was like, oh yeah, I guess that's something that we look forward to, huh? Um, so then I started <laughs> nosing around. I think I might, I might at some point do like a nod to her. I might not do a full on cosplay. I'm going to leave that to the professional cosplayers that like really make some super sweet stuff. But like, I might do like a hooded black dress, add a little lipstick, you know, play, play with something. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. A little, little bit of time. I did find it. I did admittedly, I admit, I did find a dress that I liked that is like a, a nod towards the character, but not a direct replica, but I, I kind of like that. And I ordered it. So we'll see if it comes in and if I like it. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, military training from Zeus. Did you do any military training? I think you did military little... training. I, think I, would, I wouldn't call it military training, but this is. I mean, this is also an inside joke because Ethan in RE8, uh, sorry, in RE Village is like, oh, I guess yeah, it's Village. Um, in Village is literally like, uh, the, the military training. It all happens so fast, and then he just could proceeds to like be a, a badass for the rest of the game. And so I, it was an ongoing joke like on set, and now it's an ongoing joke in my streams okay, when anything okay, happens right. like like you know something happening you're just like military training <laughs> okay so that's what it's from i'm, so I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. that's what that's yeah, about yeah, but yeah, as yeah, far yeah. as like stage combat and um that sort of stuff like yes i've actually i've done some stage combat training and then of course just like uh choreography and, and stage choreography and, and and whatnot but not any actual military training did you get any cool props to take home from the set of re3 or re8 Uh, I have some cool things from Japan that I brought home that aren't, well, I do have one thing from the set. Um, one of the lead animators that was there and, and game devs, um, drew pictures of us on the back of our call sheet. Um, like drew a little animated figure. It's packed away. Cause I, I would show it to you if I could, um, but it's on the back of our call sheet and it just has like the Japanese on the call sheet, which is super cool. And it's like me like holding up just, just as me. Um, and that was really special cause I have art that he like made there That's live. Cool. Um, and so I have that and I have that on a little board and then from village, lots of pictures we have lots of pictures um and i took pictures with some props because we were also um what's that guy filming it. what's that one on instagram you had of that guy laying down the mannequin <laughs> the mannequin yeah he played roxana's dead husband uh in the but what a performance can we just say what on the a performance from the mannequin i mean i thought so. i just really you know i'm always here to highlight the talent behind these games it's but he really was a standout Really? He was a standout. Yeah. I mean, it's just true. And so I just really wanted to make sure people knew like the, the like the true artist behind that moment. He'll it be was, up for a BAFTA and a game award and he'll, he'll probably yeah, win. Compelling stuff. Mm. Really compelling. Um, so yeah, if you haven't checked out uh, the mannequin, we couldn't decide if uh, his name was Fred or uh, Carl, Kyle. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, it's on Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can see him as um, Roxana's <laughs> dead husband, which is funny because that mannequin did not have markers on it, so it wasn't actually being captured. Oh, they just, really? <laughs> just just for the actors, they were oh, like, there's, dead, "There's a person here on this couch." <laughs> so like, it wasn't a markered mannequin. It was just for us in case we forgot. Like, don't sit on the dead guy on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Uh, King says hi. Hi, King. Bethosaurus Chapman. There's a name for you. In regards to getting new staff for the castle, what benefits do you think the family offer to lure them over to the castle? What? Be oh, new staff. Oh, like maybe. Yeah, new yeah, 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 like maybe. Yeah. I mean, I assume just like good, good, good free, work. Free for, gym membership. For yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, good work, housing, a good meal, a warm, warm, toasty environment. You know, anything you need to beat the cold. <laughs> Do you prefer playing heroes or villains, Nicole? Mm. It's like one of those favorites questions. Um, 
I mean, there's nothing like being like, you're the playable kid. Like, you're playing Jill Valentine. Like, I, how do you top that? Just really, really cool. Really, really fun. I think heroes are really fun. I think they're just fun for different reasons, though, because, like, uh, anyone who's anyone that's played a villain will always tell you, like, villains are so much fun to play because they always are having a lot of fun. So the difference is whether you're going to set as someone who's having a lot of fun and just really having a great day almost all the time, except for one scene near the very end, um, or you're playing someone whose life is just hard. Everything is hard. It's all hard. It's all problem solving. It's grieving. I didn't think about it like that actually. Yeah. Like that's the difference. So they're both really rewarding for very different reasons. Um, and both challenging for different reasons. Maggie said she prefers villains. Of course she did, because Maggie is playing Lady Dimitrescu, which was her ultimate nine foot six breakout role. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're right. Of course she did. But also Maggie is full of so many amazing voices. Um, and is such a kooky, amazing character. Excuse me while I peel this. No, out please do. Please um, do. We need it's you. Snack time. We started with sandwiches. We're just. We need you fueled ready and ready to go, Nicole. No. Cappy, how the fuck am I supposed to kill Daniela if she says, "Don't you love me?" Well, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> the first time I came across you, I just ran away. I wanted to hear all the voice lines. So there you go. That's that's my experience. I don't know. I've watched some takes where like people walk in and I'm sure it's like speedrunners, but I feel like even just some average plays and I pretty well get through. So you finally come to <laughs> and they like they've murdered me in three seconds. And I'm like, I didn't even get through my first line. You didn't oh. let me welcome you. And they just were like, I'm going to open this hatch. And so she's like, everyone falls for me. And, ah! Yeah, I mean, like, she's not she's not really smart luring him into that room where there's a specific hatch in the middle of the room, is she? She didn't think about it. It's her favorite place. And she just wanted to play. <laughs> oh, shit. My, head, my cheeks are hurting from laughing. <laughs> um, do you think Lady D uses the naughty step? When the daughters misbehave, I don't even know what that means. But anyway, a um, naughty... like for discipline, no. Oh, I naughty step is in stepping on them. Oh, oh, the naughty step, no, absolutely not, because they're bugs. They would just turn into bugs and be like, "Mom." Nicole, you're amazing with the no flies blood mod. I love that I can clearly feel the vibe, and know with the expressions Danielle is making. Oh yeah. I've seen yeah, that Yeah, she's mod. got a lot of flies in her face if you just play it normal. Yeah, yeah I've seen that um, mod. There's a lot of mods out there. Um, some very interesting. Some are very interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, recently I saw the one where Lady D's hat grows every time you see her, and I thought it was hilarious. You've gone quiet on me. What have I done? Chat. They're like, yo, there we go. Dan, we're out of questions. We have nothing else to say. Let's talk more about that lava lamp. <laughs> All right, this is rapid fire now because we've got so many still. Nicole, um, Daniela reminds me of my girlfriend, cute but blood sucking vampire. Love you from Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I could remind you of your girl. Love that she's a cute vampire sucking, wait, blood sucking vampire. Um, be careful, my friends. Be careful. <laughs> You're so fun and energetic. You remind me of um, when Becca was on. She was the same. Come to Ireland one day from Canada. I would love to come to ireland i went to the uk uh two years ago and while i was there i was like i want to go i'm so close i want to go to ireland um i'm sorry i mean like i was in one like britain like right in london um but i wanted to like go over to ireland and so i didn't get to go but now i'm looking for any excuse i can't wait nicole what did you give what name did you give the plan in the back much love from philippines oh this is Fernicles? Was that what we decided? Fernicles? Fernicles, which yeah. matches his Sophocles. So if anyone asks you in your stream, I want you... That's can, it's canon. It's canon now. Fernicles. I mean, and like, don't tell them, but I also have a bonsai tree you can't see, an orchid. Uh, you know what? If I move this way, it'll expose my whole backdrop. Oh, like you, got a few, you got a bit of greenery here. It's not exposing. I'm devastated. Just show them my plant. Look, there you go. Bonsai, orchid, 
not uh, like pearls. I don't know what they're called. It's a succulent that looks like pearls, and I love them. Look, pretty. are they all real? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. Absolutely. Get some greenery in here. That's a... Ugh, gotta do it. Got to do it. Uh, loved your work in the Resident Evil 3 remake. I only wish it was longer, so I would have gotten more of you from Aww. the journal. Thank you. Josh Easy, love your work. Nicole, Jesse, any chance Michelle Lukes will join your stream, Nicole, who plays Mother uh, Miranda? Yeah, we haven't talked yet, but there is absolutely a chance. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of characters in Village, so it'll just all come down to kind of scheduling who's available, where I'm in the game. Um, but she's super talented and did a great job as Mother Miranda. We need a Jill cooking show from Zeus. A Jill cooking show? Yeah. Ooh, lots of me following instructions. That would be very interesting, honestly. We'll see. Once I have a kitchen that's together and I feel slightly more confident, or you can come watch for the first few meals of disasters and we can just appreciate it. Uh, Barack Obama says, can you say a line from the game, pretty please? You've only said a few this stream. Yeah, what have I still not said? Um, um, what have you not said? Hmm. What else does she say? She says a lot. I mean, I could just do an Elena line, but she mostly is just sounding Yeah, give scared. us an Elena line. Come on. Please, don't hurt us. <laughs> really chill. Mostly just scared. <laughs> but, I mean, Luisa. she doesn't have much else to work with, really. Yeah, She's surrounded by... Gonna... Louisa, where, where is your husband? Is he... No, no, no. He, he's out there. Now I'm going to do Sarah's part. I'll just do the whole scene. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> you um, can just play the whole cast. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, well... It's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on, Nicole. We've been nearly going yeah, for two hours. And thank you so much for joining me. Um, <laughs> lovely to have you here. We really appreciate you. Chat, can we get a round of applause for our guest, Dan Allen? My gosh, what a trooper. Uh, Please make sure that you follow Dan Allen on Twitter and Instagram. Um, drop him a follow. We really want to show support to those that come I've also got a Streamily Live coming out on June 6th with Demetrius family. Yes. So I hope you'll join me for that. Well. jimlee.com slash resident evil please find him there <laughs> I've, it's been a pleasure to be on your show nicole i really thank you for coming on anytime letting me come on. yeah yeah anytime anytime <laughs> i'd love to have you back uh in all serious though that has been a blast two hours it's flown by and it has. Um, no i really am appreciative of you coming on and uh what you're doing i love what you're doing so for streaming content acting everything is awesome nicole so i really thank appreciate you. it thank you so so much and guys thanks in chat i i appreciate you all if you're here live or watching later um thanks for hanging out and staying awesome anything else you want to say to chat before we go oh i mean no just my unending gratitude and like you know keep showing up and 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 saying hey i'm i'm gonna continue to stream resident evil village on twitch um like we already said, Streamly Live signings coming up. Don't miss them. It's going to be really fun. Lots of those kinds of little events kind of coming up. We'll be doing lots of stuff together in the next few weeks. Uh, and otherwise, just have a beautiful day and, and be kind to yourself and others. What about, uh, so you've done three games. <clears throat> you've done three games. Is there more on the horizon? Did you a new question coming on? Did you hear that, guys? That was like a new question. There was like a throat clear and everything. Uh, it's almost like we wrapped up and we're all going to say goodbye. And he was like, you know what? Actually, I am kind of interested. Um, oh, well, no, yeah. One more. Any, 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 can you just tease us? You'll be in more games, I'm hoping, in the future. I will be in more games in the future. Yes. 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 And movies. And TV Ooh, shows. Okay. I will be in more of all of it. Beautiful. Follow me if you want to know when that happens. Because when I can tell you, I will. Well, I look forward to doing it again, Nicole. Before I let you go, can we get Daniela to say something to Dan to wrap this one up? Oh, 100%. But what would you like? Because you've now heard most of it. Hmm. I think you got to go a little bit crazy for this one. A little, okay. bit, a little bit out there. Um, hmm. What should you say? I don't know. What? Whatever you're feeling. Just okay. feel the okay. moment 
And All right. Whatever comes out. Let me is... think about this. Let me think about this. All right. Everyone, um, quiet. Can can I can I have a quiet set, please? Thank you, Aslan. Shh. Oh, she's asleep. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. Um, um, let's see. <laughs> Everything that comes into mind is so wrong all the time. Um, um, <laughs> Dan, I knew you'd love me. Come on now, just a little taste. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, what a fun character. No. Oh my gosh, a blast. All um right. please please send my love to Sophocles, your your plants. I will and send my love Wait, to Phernicles. Is Sophocles real, Dan? No, he's not unfortunately. Yeah, he's the undead. I know. I know. He's zombie an, plant? Yeah, he's an imposter. Is it impossible? Um, all right, chat. So next time that you get on here to, you know, go see Dan's videos, just go ahead and feel free to spam any and all of his videos with comments because that does help him. But also, we're going to spam them with comments. Get Dan a real plant. Get Dan a real plant. Get Dan a real plant. Okay? Good job, team. Uh, all right, Nicole. So, guys, Twitch, Nicole Tompkins this Wednesday with Maggie, a.k.a. Lady D. Signings happening all over the place. Twitter, Instagram. You know where to find her. Links in the description. It's been a pleasure, Nicole. I hope to do this again soon. An absolute joy. I'm going to head back to my PB&J, and I will see you another day. Take care. And there you have it everybody ladies and gentlemen boys and girls from around the world dan get a real plant nicole tompkins everybody what a hilarious two hours that was hey that was so fun again my cheeks are and no not my butt cheeks my cheeks uh, sore from laughing and smiling, which is always a good sign, isn't it? Who have we got in here? Who's been joining us from around the world? Paige, as always, Nash, couple of absolute legends here who are members of the channel. I really appreciate your support becoming members. And we've had a couple of new members today as well. Um, Intimidator X has become the best of the best, a member of of the channel and Tyanus also became a member thank you you guys really appreciate it get a real plan james northern nurkars caught the end we'll be watching from the beginning now you'll love it mate tio's got the links there for nicole thank you tio i appreciate that man we've got g-man roland lord spaghetti zach prolific Grey K, Chromatic Hack. Just joined. It's been... No, you can... This will be a VOD, so you can go back. I really recommend if you're joining late, guys, to go back. It was such a fun chat with Nicole. Really was. Who else we got in here? We got Rick. Thomas, how you doing, man? Good to see you in here. Mitch. Filler. Angry Red. Ari. KR. Jolly. Palumbra, Nuka, Richard, Nathan, The Hunter, Victor, Victory, Victoria, Laughgasm, Jesse, Kim, Echo, Killmonger, Samuel, I Have Boxes, Beth, all coming in, I appreciate it guys, did you enjoy that one? So next, uh, next up, guys, we've got Donna, a uh, big, big fan favorite. So the the actor and performance behind that. So we get some insights, hidden lore, a bit of details. I'm interested to know a bit more about the character. So that'll be cool. 
I subscribed. Good man. Chromatic hack. Good, good man. Awesome interview, Dan. Thanks, Zeus. Appreciate it. Doctor, been loving the videos, Dan, and love the stream. Doctor, I love you. So it's a love all round. Dan, you should chat to Kano, the Aussie man. I'd love to, man. I really would. Dan, did you see my comment from earlier? No, Nicholas. What was your comment from earlier? I think we read out a... Did you send a super chat? I'm pretty sure we, we read out your super chat. Um. Yeah, man. Oh, I mean, it was flying by, so I did my best. So just, just got to bear with me. Yeah, Mar Moreau and Donna. So I'm going to... Once this is done, guys... Uh, so Jesse, Jesse Moreau, guys, we've confirmed a date now. So that's happening. What's the date? Let me find out. <laughs> Let me give you the, the proper date right now. So that's happening... Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. So that's Sunday, 3 p.m. PST. That's happening, all right? Jesse Pimmel... Pimentel, Pimentel, 3 p.m. PST on Sunday. I hope you'll join me for that one, guys. Uh, Donna's happening Wednesday, 3 p.m. PST. Uh, I just, look, yeah, it's do, when you when you say guy, I can't make the stream, guys. I don't really choose the times. Just so you know, uh, the guests choose the times most of the time. You keep getting new followers. Congrats, man. Love what you've been doing. Keep rocking it, dude. I appreciate it, man. And I really appreciate all the new followers. I really do. I'm having a blast, man. Can you tell? I'm having a lot of fun. I, I hope it resonates. I hope you guys are having fun. I mean, that was so fun when Nicole just said for two hours. I mean, and she does. I don't think she's done an interview like that on this game anyway. So it's a real, it was a real blast. She's such a character. Great girl. Cry Oranges, I would like to see more of these amazing interviews every day from your channel. Whoa, you're in luck because it's happening. First thing I watched from you, but really enjoyed it. I'm sure to stick around. Oh. Well, thank you, Yorpy. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found the channel. It's great to have you. The actress for Donna seems really nice. I saw an interview with her and Paul. I did. That was Residence of Evil. Um, as much as I love them, don't watch that. Wait for mine. <laughs> Wait for mine. We'll, and I'll give you all the details. No. You can go over there. They're great. Awesome stream. It's 1 a.m. It was worth staying up. Thanks, Anne. Thank you. Appreciate it. Why does Ethan Winters not do interviews? Todd's been known to be very private, Spaghetti. And we're going to respect that. I've Look, I'm going to ask him, continue to ask him, not harass him, but I'm going to try and convince him because I'd absolutely love it. And it'd probably be one of my most, uh, you know, it's probably my most requested interview besides Lady D to get him on. He's never done an interview, Todd from what I know. So he never he, he actually did say never say never. So you do never know. Dan, since you always say I'm here to you guys, what about me? How do you feel about being my number one show that I always watch? <laughs> Thanks, Nicholas. Yeah, I always seem to say that, don't I? Because everyone, when I, when I do these interviews, everyone is sending love to the guests, which is obviously, of course, I want you to send love to the guests and we love that. But... I, I always go, what about me, guys? I'm here. So thank you, Nicholas. Thank, I really appreciate that, Nicholas. Thank you, man. Uh, <laughs> I love that. You'll be able to make a page. That's great. Can you interview Todd? Yeah, we just said that. Thank you for a fantastic stream. You're an amazing person, Justin. I appreciate it. Thank you. Zeus, we want the hag. Hey, you want the hag, guys? You want the hag, Carol? I feel bad saying you want the hag, Carol. I feel like I'm bagging her. Her character is the hag. And we might get Carol on. What do you think? Claire Redfield. I am going to contact Nick and Steph, who play Claire Redfield, Leon. I'm going to contact them, guys. I think we'll have a blast with those two. So I'm going to contact them after or this week at some point. And also Sarah uh, Coates. We'll probably be coming on the show too. Sophocles looking kind of sus, Dan. Yeah, he's looking a bit sus. I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him. 
What are the odds we get a Roxanne's dead husband mannequin on the future stream? <laughs> I think the odds are pretty low, brother. Let me catch up on this chat, eh? Are you watching the Dead by Daylight event, Dan? Not sure if you play Dead by Daylight. It's tomorrow, I believe. You know what? I've never played Dead by Daylight. What do you think of the game? Do you like it? I, I don't... I've never played it. Could you believe that? Johnny Silverhand interview, yeah. Dan, your videos are great. Thank you, Roland. Palumbra, Dan. Thanks for interviewing Nicole. I hope the interview the one who plays the role of Louisa. Big hug from Argentina. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can't wait for the next interviews. Loving the content. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. You're a legend. So many actors' first interview was this channel. I know, Killmonger. Isn't that funny? It's an honor. It's an honor. Por favor, Tio. Bit of Spanish, eh? Por favor. Give me some other Spanish words. I think I... Por favor. I got a bit of a, the tongue roll. I'm going all right. About to watch a Claudia DeMitt interview. Richard, you're going to have a fun too. Was he's bantering. Her first ever interview on YouTube as well. That's that's a great time. Make sure you check that one out. She's from the boys, if anyone didn't know. And also Call of Duty. Sabrina, love the interview. Greetings from Argentina. I love Argentina. I'd love to go there one day. Cassandra, unfortunately, the uh, actress passed away. So we can't interview her. But we, I would have loved to. I really would have. The hack would be interesting page, yeah. So next, Nathan, is Donna. A Benavito. Am I saying that right? Or is it Benviento? The baby fetus is not getting interviewed. Stop asking me. Uh... Frozen Ozone. has become a member of the channel. I really appreciate your support, Ozone, Frozone, No Zone. Love your name too. Incredible's a great movie. Frozone, Ozone, welcome to the best of the best. The Hunter, the content has been amazing. And so have you, mate. You've joined a lot of them and I appreciate it, Hunter. <clears throat> Can you interview Keanu Reeves, Mitch? I'd love to. I actually, uh, I've told this before, but I reached out to Keanu Reeves' manager about him coming on the show. Would you believe that? And uh, she said he's not available. So there you go. <laughs> uh, try and get Sasha Sotova. Oh, guys, so Helena did an interview with Sasha, uh, Helena, the face of Lady D. So I'm getting her on this week, if you didn't know. Helen, Helen, Helena Mantuskova. I don't know how to say her last name. I'm terrible. She did it, her first interview with Sasha, who was the face model for Jill, as you said, Jolly. And I thought, so we're not the first, but yeah, that happened. So, I have to check that out. I haven't watched it yet. Imagine not interviewing the baby fetus. I mean, yeah. How rude. Dan, what are your thoughts on RE? Which one, mate? RE4. I, I, what do you think? Should I, should I play through RE4? Would you tune into that? I'm thinking about playing it live on stream, just going back, because there's so many references from re4 to village that i think we're like going through that i just don't know would you guys tune in for that you let me know sasha's awesome yeah yeah i think i'll get the whole three of them on for an interview one time i think that'd be so fun maggie nicole and becca all three. Oh man That'd be crazy. That'd be so fun, man. Oh. Putrid, yes. Ryan, yes. Big cat. Okay, I'm going to hold you to it. I might do it, guys. I might do that stream. I'll hope you join me for that. It's my, fa it's my favorite. 
RE4, it's such a good game. It's fantastic. So going back would be cool. Bit of nostalgia, you know. Samuel, yeah? Alright. Sounds good. You down, Daniel? Oh, I forgot to ask her political opinions on carrots. <laughs> the real question, Dan, is what are you buying? Never played RE for Kim, but yes, Dan, you've never played it, really. It's a great game, I recommend it. More political opinions on potatoes and carrots with the Demetrius family. <laughs> I know, Jade. I know. We probably end up not even talking about the game. You know? What about the Duke? I've done the Duke. Resident Evil 4 is one of the most memorable games in the series. I hope they remake it. Oh, so do I. Uh, Shadro. I hope I'm saying your name right, but yeah, I agree. I agree. You should interview Sophocles, Matt. Sophocles at the back here. You want, you want him to... Okay, look. I'll do you a favor. Sophocles will be in the next stream. Okay, Matt? There's your promise from me to you. Avi, thanks, Dan, for making my day, for making us laugh and entertain in this live. Well, it is my pleasure, Avi. Thank you. Yana, please, a house Demetrius interview, I know. It'd be so fun. I might... Look, I'll try and get something going, guys, for you. Bring Neil back. Oh, Neil was so good, man. Neil's a dead set. Neil's one of my favorite guests I've ever had on. He is such... A nice guy. If you haven't seen that interview, guys, Neil Newborn. I could literally... I've got all the time in the world for that guy. He's... The guy's a fucking legend, and he's got over 100 credits. 100... He, the guy's a genius. Like, he is an expert at mocap. One of the best in the world. Would I become a voice actor? Hey, I've... Shantae... I'm saying your name right, right? Shante. I'd love to do a voice in RE9. Come on, guys. You would get a kick out of a some random character. You hear my voice. Come on. That'd be a great Easter egg. Little little cameo. Come on. Dan, you're the fifth lord. You should interview the man, the myth, the legend, the Stig. <laughs> Lewis, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. When are you when you are done with the resident interviews, who will be your next interview series, Flintstone? Um you know, you've got Ratchet and Clank coming out soon, guys. Um I'm gonna cover E3. In terms of coverage, I mean I'm gonna live stream E3 and the Summer Games Fest. If you don't know what they are, uh, new game announcements, things like that. I think Far Cry six might be a good one. I'm still working it out. Far Cry six Whatever, whatever you guys want, really. Whatever the, the next big game is. Yeah, Neil's great big time. He really is. He's a great guy. Matt Brown, thanks so much for the stream. It's such a sanctuary in the pandemic. Hope to see more live. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. You're going to have Paula Rhodes on the show, Storm. Well, guess what, Storm? I've just given you another two hours of content. Or an hour and a half. Head over to my channel, and you'll see it. So have fun with that. Dan can't breach the NDA. Yeah, I'm actually working on RE9. I just haven't told you guys. I'm under the NDA, no. But I'd love to do any of that stuff. I think it'd be super fun. Who, would, who wouldn't love to do that? But am I actively going over after voice acting? No, not at all. You do awesome, honestly. Thanks, B. I appreciate it. Will you interview Duke's horse? Who said he's got a horse, Matt? Who said he's got a horse? Dem Let me hear your American voice. American voice. Okay, you, you rate me out of 10 on my American. Here we go. We need a line. We need a line. What the hell's happening? Oh my god. There's a lichen over there. 
Ethan Winters. <laughs> Ethan Winters. Pretty good. No. Nine out of ten, you reckon? Uh, guys, that's that's very rough, all right? Very rough. Give, give me some time to develop my character. Give me some time. You know? What's some, what's some things... Um, a pretty good man. <laughs> That's Jack Dan Allen Ferrari 9. Oh, far out. Solid 10 out of 10, Chris Redfield. Okay. I love you so much. Well, thank you. Hey, Dad, can you update us on your upcoming album? Um, oh, it's in the works. Yeah, it's in the works. It's in the works. That's my update. Uh, all right, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. You Please leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And if you're new, subscribe. But a lot of you already subscribe because you're fucking legends. You know what I mean? Absolute legends. So catch me... All, all this week we've got plenty more lives you just as soon as you see it pop up in your subscription feed or on my channel you can go to dan allen interviews or resident evil dan allen interviews playlist just set the reminder so you don't miss it um and youtube should notify you if they're doing their job right but it's been a pleasure guys i hope you have a great night day wherever you are and i'll see you in the next one and so will sophocles take care guys You thought I was gone. I love this song. Tommy Lucas does all my music. Gotta love it. <laughs>